Hey, I've, I've learned something new today. Don't leave a, a tissue that has lacquer thinner on your my cutting mat. And there you go. Um, on that note, welcome to the live hangout room. Hello, the live show. Um, <laughs> completely ruined me opening there, Tim. Sorry. But I said, welcome to the Friday night live show. So we're back. We've been doing hangouts throughout the week in the morning and the evening, sporadically on and off. We can continue to do those for the seeable future. Um, just as and when. Can't do them every day, twice a day, but if we can, we can. So hope you're all keeping safe out there. Stay at home. Don't go out if you don't have to. And uh, stay and do some modeling. And we'll keep you company through the days if you're around as well. So full live show tonight. We've got Tim looking at Tony's kit. Um, hey, so Dan you. looking at all your work on the Facebook page and forum, of which the most voted bill of the night wins a £10 UMP voucher. We've got a £20 UMP gift vouchers giveaway through the night in a live random number generator draw. Uh, we've got Al answering all questions for the crew. And somebody, probably Tim, if he wants to, uh, will be looking at everything everyone's been buying this week. Yeah, boy. John's going to be reading the chat. I'll be here chatting away. Um, as all the other guys, you got any questions? Pop a question mark in front of them. Let's try and keep that chat the C word free and in here as well. And let's yeah. try and avoid the old doom and gloom. And um, yes, make it an enjoyable. Oh, I like kangaroos. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go for with us tonight. We got Dan, we got Norm, we got Al, we got John, we got Tim, we got Sam, we got me, and we got Tony Okakusho. Hey. Hey. Whose birthday it is? Sunday. Sunday. Oh, we'll see you on Sunday. Bye -bye. Oh, oh, so, Tony's joined us tonight. He's part of our birthday club, and he gets that open gift live on there. Hopefully, he keeps his clothes on. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we get to sing the birthday song in a bit, which is always great. <laughs> and uh, that's that. So, have you had a good week? <laughs> anyone but, uh, been anywhere nice? Yeah, I'm, 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 the bathroom. I'm, uh, I went to the mountain. Go on, John. What have you been doing? You've been, yeah, work, I've been at work most of the week. So you've been unemployed for what? Eight months. Eight or nine months. And then you get a job when all this happens. Yeah, and it's one of those ones that you don't get the time off. Yeah. You gave it to you. Good luck with that. <laughs> what, what were you saying, Dan? <laughs> really? On Thursdays. That's amazing. Oh. With a kangaroo. Close yeah, to there. Dan's frozen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been, yeah, lockdown and what have you. It's the most sensible thing you can do without going into it. Um, definitely stay at home as and when you can. And uh, we'll be with the, oh, well, but not off their hangouts because they're on there now. So I guess they're on uh, hangouts now. Um, so come and join us. We'll try and do them from like 10 a.m. onwards and then. 6 p.m. onwards for a couple of hours here and there. Some of them have been longer, some have been shorter. Uh, but it's see when we're at the bench and able to do them. So yeah. come and join us for the week. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. You get notified of all the videos and the live feeds. And go from there. So, Tim, you got much to look at this week? I have 35 slides for us to uh, per per view. Oh, oh it's going to be heaven. Heaven, heaven indeed. Dan, how busy is your section? Uh, quite busy, actually, to be fair. Yeah? Yeah. Who'd have thought it? Everyone's off work at home building. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've cool. it in there. That's the amazement, I'll tell you. I like it. So, an important new product today released at UMP. Yep. Yeah. yeah boy. Some haters on it within 10 minutes, which is yeah. great. So much butt hurt. It's brilliant. Um, this is let me talk to Lily. He's asking me questions while I'm live. Are you going to give this away? No. <laughs> I shall start with the chat though if you're doing that. I haven't finished, yeah. I haven't, I haven't said what it is. Um, <laughs> well, the polishing system has been re -rele uh, has been released. Um, I've been using this since about late November. A few of these guys, like Tony, Tim. Not yet. Not yet. Tim, uh, Sam, uh, Mike, and our other friend David have all been using them over the time. And yeah, absolutely yeah. brilliant. Every oh, car you see me make since late November has been done with these, and they've all looked all right, in my opinion. Shiny. Uh, shiny. I think I say something else then. Totally <laughs> <not>. <laughs> Shite. <laughs> uh, 
So, yeah, if you want to take advantage, you're over on the site now. We're doing a deal on everything. Um, it's a four-stage system. So we've got a compound, which is a more aggressive polish, a normal polish. There's a wax, which is your typical normal wax, and a spray wax as well. Uh, you can buy them all individually as a bundle. You can buy the cloth separate and everything. I'm sure Tim will have some details in this section in a little bit. I certainly have. Yes. Yep. Um, and we'll have a chat about those. Every video I've made since November, they've been in it. I just couldn't say what they were because obviously we were testing and developing and we were waiting for labels, yada, yada, yada. So you can go back and look at them. You can see them in use and see the results I'll be getting. I'll be showing them in the Chevelle video, uh, which will be next week. Yes. Um, so you'll see them in that. And I'll make a standalone video for them as well. But very impressed how good they are. Um, and, yeah, look forward to seeing what other people think of them. But not relabeled Tammy or what, uh, polishes, as somebody said today. You couldn't even afford to do no, that. You can't buy them in the UK. Not. Never mind relabel them, and they cost a fortune. So absolutely idiotic comment. Yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. uh, idiots aside, who are just jealous and arseholes. Yeah. That's that. Um, so yeah. So go check out umpretail.com. We're still operational at the minute, fully operational. We work from home, so there's no traveling to or from. Everything that comes into this house is clean, sterilized disinfected as much as we possibly can we're not messing around here we haven't we've hardly we've left the house once this week uh and i was to go to the storage unit which is all indoors so totally safe and we're open uh we're fully stocked as well and we'll stay operational for as long as we've got post we're not using royal mail anymore because i don't want hannah standing in a postal queue which is understandable. Right. what that has done is made some of the postal abroad more expensive because we used royal mail for america uh, a few European countries. So the postage prices have been adjusted on the site. They are more expensive. The bonus point of that is you will get your parcels quicker. Yep. Uh -huh. Unless your country is having some restrictions on your post, which I believe some are. <clears throat> so bear in mind with the postage cost. It is courier. It should be a lot faster. I sent some kits to somebody the other day by DPD in America, and they got it in three days. Wow. Lightning fast. So, yes, um, so we're, we're pretty much stock of everything. All I will say is, right across the board, if you need anything by post, go and buy it now because I've got a feeling over time this is going to start to reduce in the post. And I think all non essential posts will stop eventually. So, anything and everything, think ahead what you're going to need for the coming months and stock up on it. And that's it. And that's the last thing I'm going to say tonight about any of this. There we go. Cool. Happy days. Um, right, go on, John. Have a read of that chat, mate, if you want. All right, so first up, we have Gary Pashi saying, bring on the dancing girls. No, not you, Norm. <laughs> uh, Kieran there with first. Oh, damn it, Gary. Uh, what? Jason's there. Skullfish, stay at the bench. How do all? Stay at the bench. Yeah, hashtag stay at the bench. Yeah, that's, that's what my uh, our live... Afternoon hangouts from cold. Stay at the bench, not at the bench. Stay at the bench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Drew one. Hi everyone. As both Aaron is there. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Andrea Tuleski. Evening. Hello. Uh, Kev, Jif, Jaff, Bonnet de Douche. Everyone. Hope everyone is well. Shut an earth to pack. Ron, Ron, Hooray! Finally watching from my new flat. An evening all. Hey, you've done nice one. Uh, Bigsby James, hey, hello, nice all. you all doing well? Oh, uh, yellow cake Joe is there. Hey, everyone, hope all is well. Hello, Joe. There's an owl. Uh, Brian Moran, greetings from old Ricky. Uh, Mike oh, Ricky. Tyron. Hello. Hi, ISM crew and fellow modelers. There's some strange naked modeler person oh, there as well saying evening. Oh, I wonder who that is. Semi naked earlier on. <laughs> we have proof. I have a nip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike's yeah. been getting messages, retracting messages, probably swearing again. Yeah. Uh, John Stone, greetings once again. Slaves of the plastic. Hope you're all well. Have a great show, one and all, and you, Norman. Hey, hey banana man. Um, Bench man. <laughs> hey, John. Uh, no, Mike just had a spelling mistake. That was it. Uh, Harry Marwick, good evening. AT4047 evening all, PC44 pilot evening all, Grumpy Bo, good evening everybody, all looking forward to a great show. Yes. There's some weird King Dan person. Yo, yo. 
Go watch uh, it. Eric Graham hey. says hello. Oh, hello, everyone. Mark De Bruyne, good evening to you all. There's Andy Callis. Hello, gang. Hope everyone is well. Hi, Andy. Hey, Andy. Uh, yeah. Yes, you can hey, Andy. Have a seat at the lazy bar stewards table. Uh, Stanley's back from the dead. Evening all. Who is Stanley? Yeah, Stanley. Well, oh, Spider Man's all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike Batline is there. Hello, ISM crew and chaps. Oh. Uh, PC44 pilot is asking Hello. everyone keeping safe. Yeah. Uh, everyone yeah. but me, I think. <laughs> uh, hey, good, yeah. evening all. Uh, Adam's there, Challenger Scale Models. Yeah. Uh, Cal Sonic yeah. III. Evening, dudes. Uh, Yari T, good evening. Steve, hello, all plastic fanatics from Southport. And a good evening to Paul and the screw crew. Oh, hello. Is it wrong that I didn't actually read that? I just knew oh. what you were going to type. <laughs> Eric Graham, all oh, right, it's Friday. The days are all running together. They are. Yeah, Andy Callis is giving us a wave. CD Scale Model says, afternoon, boys. Thank God it's Friday. We made it through the week. Indeed. Matt Modeler says, hello, everyone. Jim Clark says, good evening, all. Bonjour. Some weird Lenin cat person says, evening, model peeps. Uh, Mark Goodfellow says, evening, fellas. Oh. And I've got a funny thing. I'm going to have to refresh my chat here. Let's scroll about three miles back up. Dun, dun, dun. Bear with me. There we go. Aaron saying hello. Matt D says, what's up from sunny Space Coast, Florida? Hello, Matt. Patrick McGeever, good evening, everyone. Da, da, da. Claire's there. Hi, everyone. Hope you're all keeping safe. Hey, Claire. Dan Edmonds, good evening, everyone. Hope you're all well. Hello. Uh, hey, Dan. Ryan's saying, boo-boo, no picture. Uh, it's... What? Um, I guess that's probably your end, Brian. Yeah. You're the only one saying it. Um, Alan Foster saying, Evening all. Hope Paul, the crew, and all in chat are well and staying, ba staying safe. Hashtag stay at the bench. Trying to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as Dan looks like he's getting ready to burgle somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's off going to have a boy band edition later. Uh, Simon Reed says, Hello, peeps. Tom Jackson, hello, everyone. Hello. Phil Beresford, evening, guys. Joseph Warren says, It's a Friday. Woohoo. <laughs> Uh, Ray Aquilina says, hello, my friends. Hope you're okay, okay guys. Uh, someone's compressor going off. Oh, yeah. uh, Daryl Master saying, hello, everyone. Lee Eagle says, hi, I'm here. Hey, Lee. Um, uh, yeah, Aaron, it's backwards cap, not a woolly hat. <laughs> Dan's wearing. Um, CD <laughs> model says, Paul, the is kicking ass. Great job, on my man. What was that? Sorry, I've blown my nose. As the Chevelle is kicking ass. Great Thank job. You, mate. Can't wait to uh, get it finished. And he's got the closed captioning on, so God knows what that's coming up with my accent. I can't even pick me up. Remind anybody else. Uh, Kieran's saying, ooh, Tim has a new camera angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he moved in a bit. Didn't he? <laughs> um, we don't get kit. Oh, it's sexy. So again? We don't get kit. <laughs> yeah, There's no, no kit in camera. Camera. He's sleeping over there. I can wake him if you feel like it. But no, no, leave him sleep. Leave him sleep. Let your pussy rest. Yeah, got, got very worn out earlier. Day off it. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that <laughs> alone. Uh, Daryl Master says, <laughs> "This David Carradine from Kung Fu Hill." Um, mm. There's a weird Norman person. Benny and the Jets is there. Good e afternoon, evening, mates. Well done, everybody. Excuse me while I try not to burp. Ride the Winds says, evening, chaps. Martin S says, happy birthday, Norm. I'll see your phone. Uh, <laughs> Who said that? Martin. 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 Wishing Norm happy yeah. birthday last week. He was, he was in the wrong video, he was. <laughs> oh, you are joking. <laughs> no, oh, what? <laughs> Probably. Oh. Serious. <laughs> and he's in charge of driving a bus. Yeah. Oh, my. Is it a short bus? <laughs> I've never got sure changed. <laughs> they let anyone in charge now, they don't they? Yeah. Come on, peeps, we need more likes. We need 50 likes. Come on, we've got 39. There's 180 are watching. No excuse. Come on, we need likes. Get it up there, please. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, Daryl says, yes, 61 likes. Can we break 100? Well, if everyone in the chat hits like, then we'll hit 100. Well, 121 if everyone in chat hits like. <coughs> yeah. Well, Hannah's uh, evening or what day is it? It's Friday, Hannah. I know <laughs> it's, it's been... Hey, Hannah. Hannah's been absolutely manic all this week, just trying to get caught up on these orders. And uh, it's a tough thing at the minute because obviously people are buying loads, which is yeah. brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then we put the polishes out today and we're crazy again. So re it's really good. We're not complaining. It's just trying to get caught up because obviously we're stressed when we get behind. But we're not far behind anyway. If you order, you're going to get your order pretty quick anyway. Yeah. But Hannah's uh, working every hour from 7 till late and then in the mornings till mid-afternoon with James. And James has been brilliant this week. Absolutely brilliant. It was entertaining us earlier. Yes, wrecking my head. Yeah. I left here, Tim. And your nose. I left here, went in the house, sat for 10 minutes, came back out here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my head wrecked. Yep. Yeah, he was, he was wrecking your nose as well a bit, wasn't he? Yeah, he was stinking the place out there. So... <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, next up, we have uh, Nicolas Stavrou. Hello from Greece. Like say Stavros, then. Hello. Hello, peeps. Ryan's <laughs> <laughs> uh, there. See no evil builds. Hello, guys. Always a pleasure. Oh, Andrew Longmore's there. Hello, everyone. Uh, Tony, Hello. Tony, it can be Monday, Hannah, if you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but. <laughs> Dan Edmonds says, just what I thought I'd have days on end at the bench. The missus has pulled me up on all the things I said I'd do around the house when I've got time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Jason the Skullfish there is saying thank you to Hannah because his order arrived this morning. Cool. And Wolfgang Vith says good evening, guys. Uh, good Bonjour. Evening. Wolfgang the Seal. We haven't seen Wolfgang for ages, have we? Uh. Yeah, as Hannah says, please be patient. There we go. They are. Everyone's being good so far. Right. Do you turn his birthday? So Tony's nearly 60. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I would have gone with 83. Oh. No, I'm only joking. I forgot. Ooh. Tony, what are you 53 or 54? 53, I am. It's a good guess, that one. So he's part of our birthday syndicate. And. Um, Thankfully, we haven't got it for a while, have we? Not, because it's going to be awkward otherwise, isn't it? We're posting. Yeah, well, there's nobody in April. Next one's in May. Right. There you go. See how that goes, eh? Yeah. Mm. Might be a gift voucher. <laughs> we might want to think ahead for the next couple of months then. Mm. And, get, and get them gone. Might we? Could do, yeah. yeah. Might be an idea. <laughs> okay. There's still postage. I'll get it sorted this weekend. Yeah, let's, let's get that done. Good idea for me. Well done, Paul. Well, I'm saying good idea. It's my idea. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so it's Tony's birthday. He's got some gifts there to open. How many have you got, Tony? They've been sent here for the past four, maybe five weeks. Oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's short. <laughs> now we're each <laughs> so, yes, there we go. So there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> Sing the birthday song. Oh, God. Are you ready? Oh, no. Sing a yep. Ready? One, oh. two, three, go! And a, and a few people in chat who joined the hangout to freak out because it's the first time I've seen Tony's face. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be the last. Oh, we, we put up with that for a long time, and then yeah. he put the down. Oh, bless yeah, took, a, took a while to persuade him to change his camera yeah. angle. Go on, then, toe, whip him out. Yeah. Hey. Again. Hey. Right. Right. Hey. Uh, yeah. Bag in a heavy one. We should have bought my cutting mask. It's in the state of that one. We got them last year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that one was last year. 
That was the year before. Damn, Tony, that's worth some eye cutting, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, but we can see most of it today. <laughs> well, he, knew, he knew what was happening, so he was just yeah. shoving it on the floor. Yeah. 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 He's he's just, yeah. That's what he's done. Zoom Put deep. your arms in and just press everything sideways. Oh. Oh, nice one, lad. Oh, my God. Kill me. I forgot what we got here. I was thinking that. Exactly that. Nice skill. What is it? How is that? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice yeah. Yeah. Good, man. Cutters, which you could be doing that. Always free cutters, nice. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. Did, we, did we get them or did they come free? Yeah. Free, mate. Yeah. Three pairs of them. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I, 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 got, I ordered from that place and got some free cutters as well. Yeah, oh. and a big thank you to Tim on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No Tim remembers. Don't say that. I'm about to show you loose. No, he's don't remind him. <laughs> don't remind him. <laughs> don't remind him. I'm so glad we can see all these being opened anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, nice one, Tom. You got to have. Yeah. What is it, Tom? We got. Oops. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh, no. oh very nice. That oh, comes with a rider too. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also got. That's gonna be cool, man. Is it good? Seven fifty. Thanks very much. Oh, yeah. Quite a nice one, that one. Yeah. Yeah, another belt to do there, man. Much appreciated, lads. Nice so, one, too. Happy yeah. birthday, mate. First Sunday. Nice one, mate. Nice one, mate. Anyway. Are you going after him, Tweet? Doing the chippy, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice one, mate. So there you go. Who's the next birthday then, Norm? Do you know? Yeah, happy birthday. Uh, we've got Andy Callis and Leela Hart in May. Okay. Damn. Yeah, how can we get them done then? Yeah, that's a Leela, uh, definitely. Well, Lee, like yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So there we go. Good, good, good. Well done, everyone. Tim! Yo! Off you go! I'm not doing this late anymore! Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, for your uh, take, oh, take me on. So we're going to do Tim's kit. Yeah, uh, right, completely opposite way round. Yeah. I was going to make Tony wait up at half eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it is late. I'll actually. Yes. Yeah. I think Sam's ready over here. You see? Oh, bums. I crack. Oh, no. oh hey. Just, is it, is it playing? Yeah. Covered in. What? Is. <laughs> is flat. Ah, no. Oh. Oh. The 28th, Tim. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, Tim. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, you guys are saying. It's the... Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're halfway through the year. It's the uh, 18th month. Week. Uh, week. Week. <laughs> Each month, Paul. Good to know, Paul. Good to know. I remember that. Yeah. Very confused people in the chat, and I like. Right? Oh. Anyway, I, go on, Tim. Off you go. I confused myself. What? I, I, I confused myself. Oh, I'm sure you can swear again. <laughs> so, good evening, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna have a flip around. Uh, let's have a little look through the new kits and bits and um, what's out there. Hopefully soon to buy as well uh everything's going to be a bit delayed on uh what's coming out soon because there ain't much shipping out and about um well, there is. everyone's still shipping currently yeah no, i'm saying if you need that then buy it now what well, run ahead for the coming month the, the kits the kit wise the problem is most stuff coming out of china and china most of china's manufacturing was shut down so Kit plastic wise, his but there's massive there's now a massive backlog of uh, dates being moved around for them. But it's not the worst thing in the world. We can cope. We I'm can sure we've all got plenty of kit to our staff. Oh, yeah, exactly. We, that's one thing we've got plenty of. Plenty of. Um, first up is Edward Ed, Edwards Edwards uh, Edward 148th Lysander. This is a rebox uh, of an, another old kit, but only Edward actually have the uh, licensings and mouldings. 
for this mm. one now. Uh, it was republished a little while ago, and they're getting quite high money. So, mm. I think well worth grabbing one. It's actually quite a, quite a nice looking little plane. Um, lots cool. of glass, lots of interior, nice looking little plane. Uh, Vectors models are going to have that twenty-five pound posted in the UK, twenty-eight euros thirty-one dollars. There is a definitely going to be a delay on this one. Um, but it shouldn't be too long, as their as their plastic is built, made by them, and they don't rely on stuff from outside of their country. Uh, like another the one, the, the, yeah, the fin the Finnish um, yeah, the yellow line nose. Yeah, it does look good. Um, yeah. Another one is Edward's one thirty two BF one hundred nine Tif Tifin Tofin Tofin. Thank you. Um, this was actually another company's moulds, which they've now got hold of and are going to be releasing. Uh, and it's a lovely nice. looking plane. Isn't it? Yep. A squad at the front. It's, a, it's a small four-seater um, plane. Let's say people say it's two-seater. It's actually a little four-seater yeah. in the back. Uh, inverted V8 engine in there. Quite a cool-looking little thing. In 30-second scale, that should be quite nice. They're doing a bit of a profi pack. So it's going to have photo etch, canopy, a uh, couple of different uh, mask variations. There is also going to be resin wheels available, resin landing gear available, different propellers available, and something to do with the interior, I believe, as well. Um, there's, there's quite a few little bits and bobs they're going to be releasing as extras for this one. Uh, so the base kit, which is your normal profit pack, is £32.50. 36 euros, 40 dollars from veterans. Hmm. That's a good price, 32 quid. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, well, right. quid, I, mean, I mean, you can quite the, the rest of the stuff. If you added all of the rest of the bits, it makes it coming up to near uh, the uh, that, that 70 quid. So once you start adding resin, it does start getting a bit expensive. But for what it is, that's a lovely, that's a nice price for that. Once it uh, comes out, um, how limited I don't, it's it's going to be, I don't know. It, it seems like they bought, must have bought the company's molds. Mm. So, yeah, definitely one for the. Um, so whose mold is that? Oh, you're going to ask me to try and remember now. It's it's a company that said they were going to release it, and it never happened. Oh yeah, mm. uh, and they had some really nice box art for it, and it looked really good. They, they were going to they did a after a. a, a, a after the war version and then the war uh desert scheme version it just never it just never appeared did they do it during the war on carpet special possibly <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh is it working this way uh, um a uh, new set from mini art then new set of tank riders set two uh, i like that pose yeah that's falling down the slide oh i'm gonna um, Oh, that one on the front just doesn't dog muck. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it well, it slips in the deck of the cow pad and is about to land bumper. <laughs> yeah, anyway, nice looking little uh, set from them. Next up is... Uh, from Fly Models, oh. 170 second scale. There we're doing the Bristol 170 freighter. Nice. Which wow. is a, a good-looking, ugly plane. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's ugly, but it also, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so the front nose opens out yeah. like a clamshell either side. Yeah. And there's a ramp that comes down. You drive, put like small, uh, I'd imagine Jeeps and small stuff like that inside it. I can't yeah. imagine you're taking much more than a Jeep size. Well, it's got a lot of windows, so probably troops. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, ma it's mainly troop, but it can take, I've, I'm, I'm sure I've seen what being in. Been in one or yeah, I'm sure me and Andreas went up to the Coventry Museum and they've got one of these up there. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of these, and yeah, it's surprising. Yeah, it's all troops up to here, and and about where the wheels were, it could uh, carry like a jeep of some sort or, <coughs> or pallets of supplies or whatever they're putting in the front of there. But yeah, main thing was troop carrier. But it's a cool looking, cool looking plane. Fly models, yeah. bit short run company. So it's not going to be like uh, out your box, um, Tamiya, but it's going to be a lot better than whatever Mac 2 release. Damn <laughs> <laughs> awful. Um, so Hannah's £49.30, 55 euros, 60 dollars. 
on that one. Uh, but it's something quite different and uh, nice to build. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Yeah. Like the orange nose, that one. Um, the Smear 132 P51D Mustang is out and about. Um, UMP Retail will be getting it in once they're going to be putting an order, and then we're selling it for around about £130, €145, £160 for that one. Beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. It's good looking. Good looking Mustang. Mm. Like a sharp mouth. Very nice. No, it says down the bottom. Um, from Black Dog, we've got a load of uh, figures coming out, uh, loads of World War One and uh, World War Two. German Luftwaffe pilot and cameraman. Uh, where they show these as a set, you can always buy these as individuals. Uh, God, who's good at French and trying? What's that? Tom? Jessica Drill Lafayette. What's that say? Yeah, French yeah. pilot. Jessica oh. Drill Lafayette pilot and mechanic set. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell you what the third one says. <laughs> um, Brie, I'm Brie. wondering what the guy with you know the guy with the dog sat on his lap. I'm wondering what his hands doing around the back end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even I was looking, thinking, what's he trying to do? Is he trying to get in one end and out the other? No, uh-huh. if you look at his feet, he's got a couple of toilet rolls there. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Is he is he getting him ready for the other guy though? <laughs> Do you mean the wrong for God's sake? <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, British pilot, yeah. hello, honey. And the British pilot down here is taking notes. There you go. Moving along. <laughs> um, also coming out from Black Dog is a 148 for de- a big detail set for the F15. Mm. So you get all of the electronics base. Uh, you get the cannon in the front end there, and you get an engine as well. Uh, these sets will be, will be released then as separate parts as well, which you can order if you need to. It's quite good to get the Vulcan cannon in there. For all the bits I left out with the Great War hobby kit. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of avionics in there. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of avionics. Looks good, though. Lots of uh, resin to detail up. Mm-hmm. Um, from um, Whip3D, so I think it's a 3D printers, they're doing the Samsung Armoured LGOC B type. So you need to go and buy the mini art kit as a base kit so you get the chassis. But then it gives you an armoured front cab and an armoured rear cab. Mm. I like the shaped, cool. shaped armour. This is quite a clever uh, yeah. idea for 1914s. Very small. Yeah, Kitty Hawker said after all the coronavirus is been and gone, they will be bringing out the 135 UH1B Huey. Nice box. Yeah. John Martin, I believe. I think that's uh, definitely from a certain film as well. Um, spotted this over on Scalemates. Really can't understand why. <laughs> but there's a company from Bandai. Uh, they've released model kits of the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. Oh, that's that's actually cool. <laughs> yeah, in two fifth scale. Yeah. In two fifth, uh, two, two, two fifth scale. So just under half size. Half that half size, yeah. This is, I, yeah. I, I I really can't understand why, but obviously there must be a bit of a call for it over in Japan. Maybe they like it. Well, people do like their old consoles, don't they? So yeah. Yeah. Saying that, I could, this sort of thing I could probably quite easily buy my brother. My brother likes old consoles, so I could quite ha- probably ha- quite happy buy him those and he'd be happy. Um, Rebel was saying they're going to be doing a 148 boxing of the B25D. Mitchell can't f- uh, find out yet whether this is a uh, monogram reboxing of their dirty old horrible kit or it's a reboxing of the slightly better accurate miniatures kit. There's no, there's no uh, timeline for that one mm-hmm. yet to find out hopefully it's the accurate miniatures one and it's a decent price to have overly priced like they are um from led warrior they've got a load of trailers available uh they've got a trailer for the marder two or three on a pack 40 41 so it's got a load of ammo in the back 7.5 centimeter uh, it's quite a nice looking little kit and um, led warrior uh german world war ii steel drums transport trailer it looks like a little pump section. Yeah, a little refueler. Yeah. 
Uh, and then cool. you've got tea stuff, war warmer for the V2 Catan Rocket. Rocket anyway, Rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you need a rock side heater? That doesn't sound too dangerous, does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to heat up this really volatile chemical until it goes bang. Ah. Anyway, it looked very nice. Perfect for a little V2 diorama, that one. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one for Paul. Oh, no. Paul doesn't do trucks. Oh, it's a, it's a car. Oh, yeah. Or is it a pickup? We're not too sure. It's a pickup. It's a pickup, isn't it? It's a truck. Like it's a Chevy Love Street pickup. Yeah, that's got a mattress in the back. Oh, I was not going to go down that route. Yeah. Oh, watch out. It's molded in the USA. Oh, yeah. That, that Mitchell oh, tree, the Ravel tooling from 1968. Which one is? The Mitchell. Well, they, they haven't. it hasn't been linked to that one. It's on scale mates now. Oh, they've changed it, have they? Yes. Oh, they, they, when I was looking this morning, they weren't. They didn't have. They showed it, but they didn't show it linked. Um, uh, so it's the old, it's the old monogram, then, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like old. <laughs> yeah. Pass pass that by when you see it on the shelf. Leave it alone. Uh, this one's really quite cool. This is actually quite a new kit from Revel, uh, and this is this was released about three or four years ago. And started different boxing. Uh, now you're doing a model a model a roadster two in one and i think i might grab one of those. i do love the little model a right. it's nice that yeah, cool. and you get to do the engine and you get to see it because you don't have to worry about the bonnet hey mm. nice oh yeah, yeah. probably wouldn't fit anyway no, well, i was gonna say that has got a stonking big block v8 mm. it, it nice straight four in it wouldn't it the original yeah all days nice yeah. way walls as well yeah, white walls. I like that. Redo. Really Redo really like cool. that. You could do a nice little rat rod if you wanted, or go for a proper uh, roadster. Mm. Very cool. Um, now, there is loads of Hattie Gower's kits in, uh, coming into the UK. I wasn't going to start listing them all because they've just they've been re-releasing uh, re loads of them. But I can tell you now, they are not cheap. Um, they had one of their 109s in 148 scale was 50 quid. Ouch. Ah, it's just, it's just money. Um, and, and this one, which I've really squared, I thought it starts to maybe creep down in price. No, no. Very cool looking. It's the Japanese version of our Sunderland. Um, £119, €133, Euros, £147. Euros. It's a very large for one second. I mean, it's big, isn't it? That is a big, big plane. Massive, yes. Yeah, it's a big plane. You do get a lot of kit, but it's just, it's so expensive. Yeah. You get all the interior. Say again, time. Um, uh, no. I says you get all the interior and ribbon and everything, and you won't see it. Really? Yeah, you get the whole lot inside. What a shame. Yeah, there's no, there's no windows in that. That's all to view no, anything in that. And window. little uh, oblong shaped things. That's all you have. Yeah. Huge aircraft, though. Absolutely massive. Yeah, it's it's, it's a good looking plane. It's quite it's it's does what it needs to be. Mm. But yeah, shame about pricing. They're, they're, they're the exchanging rates at the moment's really uh, kicking yeah, the mm. uh Mini Art, I've got the German Railroad staff, 1930s to the 40s. So if you like the train dios, uh, they're perfect to have there some of their Mini Art stuff. Stay with shovel. It looks like he's clearing up after him, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, uh, he always he's he's the station announcer as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's works. Uh, the, from their very early release, their trailer and the truck, uh, they've just done just the trailer on its own. Um, e models £20.50, €23, Euros, $25. Um, the kit for just the trailer on its own, £20, not actually that bad. Mm. Do a bit of a diorama, a bit tank being unloaded without having to worry about the whole truck. That's a perfect little uh, yeah, diorama. It's still a sizable chunk, isn't it? Yeah, it's still, it's still good. a good base for a little tank to be transported on. So, yeah. For 20 quid, I don't think you can go wrong there. Sweet. Uh, special hobby, I've got their Aero C3A coming out. Yeah. The uh transport and trainer plane. Strange yeah. looking plane, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's got a good size in 48 scale, that. It's even a bit, a bit dinky. Uh, 
Um, e models forty pounds, forty five euros, fifty dollars on that one. Cool plane. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, now the I showed this a little while ago. Ming's releasing what they call the uh, Victory Kiss. Um, so you get the M three M four A three E two jumbo tank. You get the Victory Kiss, which is two figures here. And you get a photo set from Ming model, uh, from ET models, sorry. Uh, the, the whole of this lot all together ever costs you £85. It is a bit of a step up from the base kit, but you are getting something quite nice and unique with mm -hmm. boxing. Yeah, £85, €95, Euros, $105 on that for Ming models. I like the idea. <laughs> Uh, Ryfield's 135 Challenger have got the upgrade release because this is what you need in life. You need an upgrade. So, Luke, um, you, 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 I, I'm not sure you might be able to be watching. I think so. You're probably quite a busy man this night, but I think you need to get this set, dude. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what Luke's near model. Yeah. Show, show us how it's done or thrown back in the box. Except, yeah. is that kit not released yet? Uh, yeah, no, you can buy it now. Oh, is that the new new one they're releasing, is it? Yeah, that's a new Challenger. Yeah, so you can get all the... Right. So instead of having all the plastic as a bar armour, you can use all the photo etch as bar armour. Mm. I don't know which mm. I worry about using more. You can take one Nightmare and replace it with another. Yeah. I wonder, I, I wonder how good their bar armour's um, been produced though, on their plastic. What I mean, they're pretty damn good at their stuff, so I would have thought it'd be... It's good, but it's not going to be... I suppose it is not going to be as thin as... What yeah, yeah, that's just going to be so delicate. Yeah, um, but I say the, the amount you get for seventeen pounds not actually too bad. Uh, you got a couple mm -hmm. of down the bottom here, which I couldn't work out what they were from the pictures. But then again, for a detail set, that's rather cheap, uh, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you, you think you go to Voyager or anyone like that? Uh, the bar armor set on there they can charge you thirty odd quid. Yeah. For something like that, so seventeen pounds not actually too bad, even if you buy it and go, yeah. I'm not, I'm not that brave. It's not mm -hmm. the uh, show did this ages ago. Rebels, massive big diggy thing. <laughs> big diggy thing. <laughs> it's big a diggy thing. thing. <laughs> um, warnings you need a ridiculous amount of room. It's not joking when it says it's over a meter, it's just massive. And it can't really break. You're thinking, well, all I can do is I can break it down so it's in subsections. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. And it's full of... Anyway, it's it looks cool. You need a serious <laughs> amount of room to uh, any, ever, ever think about showing this. Uh, and it's not cheap either. Oh, ET models, I don't know who they are. But anyway, E models, £108 for it. Crazy. £120, yours, $133. A metre wide? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of plastic and a lot of building, but... Good damn man, it's that is yeah, a lot of sand in <laughs> hey, it's not cheap. Not cheap. Well, swear as well. Oh, it's the amount of injector pins. It's covered in them. Absolutely covered. But it does build up quite well. Open is how do you paint it once you start building it and things like that. All the usual sort of worries that we have when we're modeling something. <laughs> right. Um one I did spot from the new releases from Hasigat not re-releases from Hasigat is the uh S2F tracker from the uh Japanese uh, Japanese Marine Self Defense Force. Yes. Which is a cool looking little plane and a lot of the wires and the funny sticky up domey thingy. Yeah. Nice little side and it's not bad in that scale either. That sort of size. Uh, Emo's 33 pounds, 30, 37 euros, 41 dollars. That's cool. I like that one. You see? Nice. Yeah, I, I, I can't help but wonder with these Hasegawa re release limited editions whether they just found a couple of boxes of sprues in the corner of the warehouse. Oh, uh, quite likely. Quite likely. <laughs> quite likely. Oh, look, uh, new release. <laughs> um, Hasegawa's 135 Hitachi Loader. Ooh, that's oh cool. yeah, quite cool. I fancy that. Yeah. Okay, and it's what well, it's got the multi plow snow slash slow snow plow, uh, and it's got a little driver in it as well. Sweet, very nice. E that. Fifty pounds though. That's not mm. cheap. Fifty six euros, sixty two dollars. Yeah, 
That's a bit expensive, that is. Yeah. Very cool, but that's a bit expensive. I wonder if it's going to come in grey plastic or that orange plastic. No, I think it comes in that orange plastic. Oh, no. So I, I do one of those diggers, and it comes in wooden coloured plastic. No. Yeah. Um, oh, I I've got two, uh, two 112 race bikes out. You've got the 1989 or Road Championship um, GP500 Pentax, and then uh, a UCC. And I'm not sure if that's the difference on those two. Uh, emails £54, €67. Oh, that ain't cheap. No. And that bottom one's a nice ship. Quite right for them, though. Yeah, it is. It is. It's just, uh, yeah. They're not new. These aren't, these, aren't, these aren't new. These are oldish kits now. Yeah. Still oh, all right. Kits, though. Do, you, do you want to hear some even gutting news? What's that? And it's just a form of African, African Twimmer got sold. Oh! <gasps> Oh no! Went yesterday. Oh, yeah. Did it? That, that's yeah. a mic. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Ah, oh, okay. It's all right. <laughs> the most, the most annoying thing is we went to the storage unit today to pick up some stuff. Oh, so you definitely gonna go back? And it's there. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, well, it's no trouble going there anyway. So, uh, Hasegawa's one twenty four re-release of their Mura. Um, now, so, now, someone was actually talking to me about this. Going, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the re-release because it says it's coming with new parts. They might come with photo etch. I was like, probably won't come with photo etch. The new part, eh? Yeah, there's, there's your new part. Yeah, a lady in a dress. Yeah, yeah. And they're wow. charging you extra. I, um, there's a YouTube channel called Harry's Garage, mm -hmm. and he did a complete history of uh, Lamborghini, and that was voted the best looking car they built. Oh, really? I don't think so. Beautiful car. It's lovely. I think it's a nicer looking one. It's is cool. It? I, I'm, it's definitely not one of my uh, high on my favourites at all. Is it just me? Does she look like she's looking to the oh, right with her head on backwards? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you mean. <laughs> It looks like the body's looking at the left. I stuck a head on. <laughs> the, oh, 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 over the shoulder. Ooh, look, doesn't really work. Uh, emails fifty pound, fifty six euros, sixty two dollars on that. I'm a lady. Uh, yeah, I was one sixty two. Shinky, shinky seabed. Uh, oh, sounds like a dodgy. Um, that sounds really happy, Tom. Yeah, doesn't it? Uh, you get a little uh, submarine, you get a little snake, and then you get this a backdrop as well, written in Japanese, I take it, so you can find out stuff that you didn't know before about that you didn't know before. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it was £45, pounds, not cheap. Uh, 50 euros, $56. And that thing is pretty small as well. Yeah, that's not big. <laughs> 70 second scale, so that's going to be quite small. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Another one from them. You can get their fire engine. So when everyone keeps saying you could do a crash dio with that, you there you that. go. Now you've got the fire engine. Okay. Air so one seventy two and forty quid. Hey, John. One seventy two and forty quid. Yeah, come on. Where has it go? Yeah, exactly. We charge yeah. lots of money. Yeah, forty pound, forty five euros, fifty dollars. No, not cheapest, but it's quite cool. They're like a foreign. Um, it's cool, but I think they're getting their pricing from Dragon now. Yeah, yeah. This one's good. Uh, one seven, one two hundred scale space shuttle. Uh, you get a telescope, shuttle with, with orbiter, and the little astronaut. He must be dinky in one two hundred scale. Um, that's that's some size, though. To be fair, but yeah, this is quite a good big size. It's a bit small. The astronaut the Hubble. Oh, the whole the whole idea. I do like the whole. The whole yeah, thing. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Good price out as well. It's not bad price. Oh. If you if you do it, if you it's going to be a maybe a summer sci fi um, summer like is it? There's not really sci fi. Is no, it? it's not science fiction, mate. Uh, uh, science fiction. Ignore me. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Are you thinking of like a space build like we did one year? Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, ignore me. Twenty eight pound, thirty one euros, thirty four dollars fifty. But not a bad little price. Quite, quite cool, nice. and, and with it as well. And to finish yeah. off, the best bit to finish you off with. Hey. 
Hey. Go on, do you want to explain yeah. that for the air, Paul? Right. Okay. So I've, I've, well, yeah, I and these guys that have been testing it, uh, been tweaking these since, uh, well, I've been tweaking them since about November time. Mm hmm. So we've got a full polishing mm. system there, starting from the right. Number one, we've got a compound, so that's a, a more coarse uh, and aggressive polish. So depending on if you've got flaws in your finish or if you've got um, orange peel or whatever, will dictate what you need to sand it back with. So the lower the grade of sandpaper you use, the more aggressive of polish you're going to need to get the scratches out. So if you have to really go to town on your clear coat, you need the compound, and so you put that on. Apply it, give it a bit of elbow grease, not a lot. Um, remove the uh, dried uh, residue and then dictate whether you need to go over it again with it or you can move on to the polish, which is a less aggressive, abrasive uh, polish, obviously. Uh, apply that in the same manner. Once you're happy with it, you can apply the wax or you can go straight to the shine, depending on what you want to do. Wax is very good, but obviously being a wax, you've got to be careful where you put it and don't get in all the recesses and any cracks. Um, and that's it, really. And the, the shine is good for final finish, or if you take your models out and give them a clean one day, you can give them a spruce up with a bit more of that. Um, and that's it. So it is the complete polishing system. You can get the cloths. You can buy that as a set. There is Tim. You buy everything individually. We're doing the cloths in a pack, and Lee's in the process of 3D printing a holding system for them as well. Excellent. So these have been tested since November. They work very, very well. Like I said before, Everything I've finished since November has been done with these, and they've been in all the videos. If you go and look, you'll see them in non non distinctive pots. Um, while they're being tested, mm -hmm. they work absolutely perfect, uh, as Tony can attest to. Oh, yes, um, and a few yeah. of the guys who've been testing them over. Uh -huh. the past few months. Do, do you mind if I just butt in a little bit? Yeah, it's bonus. Um, who spelt retail on Tim's slide? <laughs> I'm gonna guess Tim. Uh, cool, all right, yeah. I didn't even see that. <laughs> um, it must be a word though, because it never flagged it up when I was writing it. So as uh, it's not in English. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah. So it's obviously attained more uh, car, you know, car and bike models, but it will work on your canopies, the polish and what have you. But for canopies, I'd still stick to the Novus. It's a less aggressive. Very good. But that's what Novus was originally formulated for, cleaning uh, canopies, I believe it was. Um, but mm -hmm. it will work, and obviously you've got anything glossy at all. It'll polish you up to a nice high shine. Um, and that's it. It works very, very well. I'm very impressed, and I'm glad we've finally got it released. It's cool. been a bit of a long, Excellent. drawn out affair, this one, getting everything ready, and the labels, and what have you. But we're finally there. So, yeah, we've got tons of it in stock. So grab it while you can. Nice. Nice. I just did. Yay! Of my order. That is a, that is me all done. On oh, Rabbit Rosie. Oh. Good man. Plan nice one, Tim. Thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to get my camera on. Hang on. Oh, I'm in the back of Dan. It takes forever. What are you doing, Dan? Ah, there we go. Kicking the window on my three D printer. Licking oh. the window. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a little rabbit. Yeah, it. Oh, it's no worries printing at minute. It's <laughs> it's printing a bender. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, bender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's oh, cool. cool. That's cool. Look at my shiny metal ass. Oh, I was ex expecting a few more untoward things being said. Then he's he's one of the rudest little robots. One I. <laughs> And, no, and, no, no, no. Delivery doesn't close down on Monday. Hence why I wanted a bender on my desk. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Carol's no, in the chat saying, we, no, nothing ends on Monday. We're going to go and go and go. And mm. So <laughs> get your orders in and get polishing your shiny bits. Anyway, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the chat. Uh, Hannah's saying about you know, the orders. Just, yeah, please be patient. Hang on, well. Hang on a sec. I didn't notice this before. What's yeah. wrong with your hair? Mine? Nothing. Yeah. It's got that length where it either flops forward or sticks up. 
And what he's trying to do is he must have got a new ball spot and he's trying to hide that one. Is, now. It, is that like a small comb over? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. It looks oh, like doesn't look yeah, right. suck it back up. It really doesn't. I think it looks better like that. Yeah. I think it looks better. Like like oh, no. That just looks like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Yeah, that's my normal look. Anyway, yes. So, and then Gary says, so you let poor Hannah almost catch up on orders and release a new product. That's just the yeah, she was very nearly caught. Up. <laughs> yeah, uh, John Stone's asking, any idea when Trumpeter are releasing their 116th Tiger One? What's an algae breath at the moment? Oh, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, seriously. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will nod your breath at the minute, John. Mind your eye will, because it stinks. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't hang out hope for that anytime soon, unless it's already been dispatched and it's on a container boat somewhere. Yeah, I think all these kit releases, because Tim's are coming out of the. Um, yeah, deliveries coming out of China, China, China. Asia market. Yeah. All of it, all of. Um... Uh, wing nuts have been st if, if, anything that was going to be released within the next two months has now been moved back to the end, of, now been moved forward to the end of the year. Yeah, so they're, they're pretty much saying six months gone. So, there yeah. you yeah. it's um, yeah, it's gonna have a big impact. This, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, there we go. Go on, John. Off you go, mate. Sorry, yeah. uh, Nicholas uh, is currently modeling two aircraft, a tank, and a battleship. Wow. Uh, and Daryl's saying, yeah, I don't think anyone here really stresses when making UMP orders under current circumstances. And yes, Tony does remind people of David Carradine in Kung Fu. Yes, with the UMP, it, it, it is stressful. I mean, we, get, we are getting a lot of orders. Obviously, there's loads of stuff going on. And we have a five-year-old to entertain now as well. So yeah. it's definitely, he's been really good. He's been helping pack your orders sometimes. Nice oh, uh, Martin Pretorius says yellow. Hello, Martin. Hey, Martin. Hello, uh, uh, apparently, Tony's face is freaking Kieran out. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that. Yeah, it does that to everyone. Uh, lots of everyone muting. Muting. Sounded. <laughs> thinks he said it sounded great in the subwoofer. I don't know who's voice that was uh, and his dog Oban was singing along as well excellent mm. <laughs> uh, uh, Kev says just back yes I missed the birthday song <laughs> um, uh, Brian says that's spooky I was just looking at the Quacker Dealers website uh, ba -ba yeah so yep as Kev says Tony needed more skit uh, more kits to scatter over his desk <laughs> uh, Mike says we should have hired him a cleaner for the bench. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Point, mate. Um, as Gary points out, Tony, how many points is your surname worth in Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> if you get it right, it's actually a triple and a double word score in Scrabble. Yeah. You know what's that, mate? But you actually put the rest of us in the nerds. Mm. Uh, Aaron says, "Oh shit! Good job we got locked down. I forgot it's my mum's birthday tomorrow." No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Striped Tiger was the company on the Typhoon Tim. Ah, Tim's walked off. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think they get the basically got it already and then ran out of money, didn't they? That's a shame. Yeah. Mm. You okay, Dan? Yeah, I'm just reading on internet. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself clever, but it's not going to work. Not from what I'm reading anyway. What you're reading the alphabet? Uh, yeah. I'm just on a, uh, a 3D printed page. What's we talking about? Various things we release stuff. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Uh, uh, talk about the helmets. Uh, Gary says you take it. Tim's not doing the English class class while homeschooling the kids. Got the mats. Yeah. Or music. Crack it in. Crack it in. Have it in. <laughs> I love turkey. Ah, uh, here we go. Steve's done a full on geek out or a Google on us. A retile or a retial is a pierced plate on an astrolabe having projections whose points correspond to the fixed stars, a network as of fibers, nerves, or blood vessels. Gotcha. So Tim got the spelling right just for the wrong thing. Uh, David oh. Wright says, sorry guys, late to the party. Had two 80-year-olds to look after during these strange times. Yep. Uh, Dan's on a bender. Almost, apparently, I look like Max Headroom. Mm. Uh, uh, Daryl's asking John, did he find a recommendation for a non 300 quid Lancaster? I think the general consensus is normally either the Airfix or the Ravel, isn't it? Uh, how's he going to do one? Yeah, the Hassie as well. But, uh, as we, kit that has go, yeah, as we know, the house is going to be expen expensive. If he tries king kit or something like that, it might get it cheaper. Yeah, can I just read the comments that were just said in the chat? Yes, Daryl Masters just said Dan's facials are brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm hoping he means expressions. Yeah, I do too. And speaking of Frankie, says Frankie Day Models says hello, everyone. Hello, hey, Frankie. Frankie. Uh, and yes, Daryl, uh, Dan is somewhat that way at the moment. <laughs> and we're caught up, as it were. Well, chunks arrived. Uh, oh, we got a chunk. Hey, chunk. Chunky monkey. Superb. Um, what should we do next? Oh, do you want to do your questions? Yep. Go on, mate. Let's get the questions on. Okay. Right. Um, setting them up. I shall refresh just to see if there's been <laughs> any more. Right. Question from Malcolm Cook. Hi, Live Cook crew. A question for you all. When you purchase a second-hand or older kit and the de decals are still good, is there anything you would do to try and make sure the decals will last if you don't have any immediate plans to build a kit? Have a good show and catch you in the replay. Chuck them in a bag and make sure they stay in normal temps and away yeah. from moisture. Yeah. I suppose, like everything, decals have a shelf life as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, barely try and keep them in the box. Like, get seal lock bags that you can get for your fridge. Put them in yeah. them. Oh, you can stack those little silicon bags then. Thank you. You don't want to dry them out too much, though. No. True. If you dry them out too much, that's when they start cracking. Yeah. Um, I'd say just. Leave, if they're packed in like a sealed bag already, just leave them where they are. If not, put them in one. Mm -hmm. Keep them out of the sun and keep them at room temperature. Ooh, out the sun and out of room temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And the second and the last question from Daryl Masters. It's not really a question, more an more understanding. How do you do the same genre? I'm thinking all the time. Though. Maybe it's because I'm new and finding where I want to be. But if I did pure armor or pure aircraft, bikes or cars, etc., it would kill my love of the hobby. Uh, he says, for him, it's a diversity of so many kit variations that he does like. He loves, um, you know, how do you stick 10 Scoobies or 8 Quacks? With different schemes, it would kill them. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> been there, Bill's armor, cock up board. I enjoy the cars. I can do 30 different cars in the same kit quite easily. And um, I'm just trying to improve every build and get things better as I go. Yeah. Just something that interests me. It always has cars. I love cars. Um, so it just keeps me interested and motivated to go. Plus, some nice quick builds as well. So it's a nice turnover, too. Yeah. As I say, he's got to find his niche where, he, where he'll try multiple kits, like try ships, helicopters, planes, boats, you name it. Try a lot of different and you'll find the you really enjoy the boat. And that's when you'll find where your niche is. Okay. There's some weird ass noises going on then. Yeah. It'll that's take a little while to find exactly what you need to, to be. Once you find it, you, you'll just, you're where you'll go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I build most things, but I'm more, I won't say known for uh, mm. Russian armor and strange figures. Yeah. Um, so you can't build, can't build pots, can you? See, I, I do armor, but I much prefer a non turret type thing because the tank is just a box with a, another box on top. Where the likes of armor personnel carriers and all that are different. Sorry, something gone, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So some of the tank destroyers and. Yeah. Uh, Right, well, well, one stuff because it's it's basically different, totally different, you know, and you, stuff like that. You just got to find what you really want to where you'll be. You'll you'll get it eventually, but it just takes time, like everything else. Yeah, yeah. But it's like if you enjoy building all sorts of different things, build all sorts of different things. It's just um, some people will have a deep love for planes, so they only build planes. Mm. Yep. Some people love cars or bikes, so they just build those. It's yeah, you, you'll find other things like on Facebook, you'll have a, a, a group dedicated to ships, another group will be dedicated to bikes, another group dedicated to cars. They're all out there. It's just that yeah. they found where they, they what they enjoy the most. So like Paul and all them, they do cars. Well, cars just got no interest to me, to me whatsoever. So I don't really enter that sort of realm because I don't know I've got no interest, so it'll be pointless for me. Uh, I'll try to number of problems. We still stick to aircraft because that's where you look is at the most. Yeah. Those aircraft. Uh, I'll probably build the odd ship, but I'm not really overly oh, massive. The odd ship, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I'm not really overly massive, you know, the sort of thing I'd be into. Uh, it, like I say, you, you'll find it eventually. It's just a matter of it, just keep going. And yeah. eventually something will come along that you really enjoy and you'll want to do it again and again and again. See, I just build everything. I, like, I do love my World War One yeah. stuff. I do love my cars. I am just quite happy just building. I just like building. Mm. Not always finishing. <laughs> oh, uh, I know that one well. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> you just enjoy building and finding stuff and building it. And yeah. Sometimes you might think if you enjoy it and you get halfway through building it and you get a bit bored with it. It just what happens. you got to not be too worried about it. No. You build what, what you enjoy. Just, you know. Yeah. Whatever gives you pleasure and you enjoy what you're doing, just do that. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I think you enjoy all sorts, build all sorts. Well, I like enjoy all sorts, don't build all sorts. <laughs> Some people do love just building literally one subject. Like, people, we know people that have enjoyed only building Panzer fours, and that's all they ever built. Uh -huh. yeah. And they were weird, but that's what they liked. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I stick to aircraft normally, or usually, well, always actually, apart from the one tank. Anyway, um, and I, what, what I tend to find is, even on a, a, a specific aircraft, my, my mojo will wane, and then I just swap over to another one. And even though it's the aircraft and aircraft, I, I think the, the, there's sufficient variation in each one. Mm for me yeah, yeah. tanks are a lot more similar than aircraft and yeah and cars are i think even, even more so more. yeah well and I, I mean yeah, we still get the full range of cars from uh, the old uh, model t right through but yeah 
Yeah. And that's it for the questions this week. And if there isn't any more questions next week, I <laughs> shall start asking you a lot in the chat. Questions. Yeah, there we go. So there. Yep. Yeah, Make sure there's none there now. Uh, there is one. I still not scroll down from where I was. Uh, Claire is asking, Paul, have you tried the UMP polish on Mr. Hobby GX 100 112? No, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, honey. As long as it's properly dry. Yeah. Uh, leave, it least, leave it at least 10 days. Yeah. Uh, Robert. On, uh, Robert Bond says, Paul, you sound a bit like you're from Stoke. Merseyside, not too far. The Wirral. Yeah. Squirrel. Um, Wirral. Wirral. Um, Digsby says, places decals in a cookie tin. That way he lays them flat and the tin seals quite well. And he's on his way home and he'll be back in a bit. Uh <laughs> Oh no, I'm no, I'm not going to release the quacken. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gary says we know what I'm known for, but we shouldn't talk about it on a live show. <laughs> yeah. Um, but says, yeah, it just seems that everyone has a genre. Um, I'd say it's one of these things, some do, some don't. It's just if you want to build everything build everything you'll you'll work out what you enjoy the most eventually mm -hmm. um and you, you'll probably be surprised at what you find most enjoyable this is, so i i find I, I'll, I'll build one thing and then i'll build another thing and then i'll build another thing and then each time it'll be something different than the last time to try and keep the uh yeah. like, but paul do that. You'll, you'll try and do a Normal car, and then maybe do a race car, don't you? Sometimes, from time. yeah, they have spec of road cars, didn't they? Yeah, but then you go for a spec of road cars, and it's just it's, it's what you do, whatever you feel like doing. There you go, yeah, yeah. As Kiwi Gav says, quite a few of the process, not, not just or necessarily the subject. So, I like the building aspect, which is why high parts count generally Russian tank it fit the bill for me. Um, other people don't like the building. So mm. uh, they prefer the painting and the weathering aspect. So they would prefer a, a lower parts count kit they can get together quicker and get to the bit of the thing they enjoy. It's just, mm. That's why I'm sat here with two basically completed tanks and they aren't painted yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Daryl says, Paul, I'm used to using the micro set and sol. Ordered the UMP decal solution set. How or where would you use the extra strong? Um the extra strong on really stubborn decals like Shunkos and things like that. Um But you play it by ear, that's why we sell it as a system. So ideally you need all three if you can. Um Start with the normal and go to the strong and the extra strong, depending if you need it or not. Um, yeah, you'll judge by the decals as you go and you'll see them ranked. As long as the setting, start with the weakest solution you've got and work your way up. Don't just go straight in with the extra strong. As you well heard. Yeah. Some decals. Yeah. So I wish I'd the least powerful. Put it on, try it. If you can see them conforming, that's great. Even if I can see it conforming, I'll still go the next step up. As well to make sure they are fully set. Um, but yeah, just uh, play by you, literally, or by eye. So there's no hey. yeah, you don't don't listen to your decals, watch them. <laughs> um, uh, Sean McDonald says, Evening, folks. Eventually moved house and getting back into this. Just finished sorting the dungeon. Hope you're all keeping well. Excellent, excellent, yeah. sweet. And Chaz said he had to use the extra strong on some Tamiya decals because they were very thick. Yeah. Yeah, some of them are. I took a bit of extra strong on some of the Evolution, the ones that conformed around the front bumper, just to get them to conform easy and quicker. But just be careful because some decals you put them on and it will melt them. So we'll start over the weekend. Give it five, ten minutes in a couple of applications and just work your way up through them. You'll get used to knowing what decals need. What Shunkos always need the extra strong. Um, scale Motorsport always needs a strong, 
to get it to properly conform. Um, but always start with the weakest one, and off you go. And you can still use your micro set to put them on, but that doesn't really set, um, conform the decals, really. It just puts them in place for you. No. Unless you've got some really, really good decals, and then they sometimes do. Uh, Daryl saying, thanks, he's ordered the full set. Excellent, mate. I'm caught up again. All right, then, should we do a giveaway? Give it away now. Uh, beat down to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Okay. Uh, Kev's off, so so later, folks. Oh, yeah, Kev. Okay. Yeah, Kev. Bye. Bye, Kev. Right. So Norman Sharon. Excellent. Let's get that off. Right. So we'll do the £20 UMP gift voucher giveaway first when my camera comes on. <coughs> Give it 10 minutes. Ba, ba, ba. Click the button. Take the there we go. So we're going to do a live random number draw now. Um, you get five minutes to pick one number. Pop it in when you see John say start numbers now. Uh, after five minutes, we'll close it. You pick one number from one to a thousand, and you get the chance to win a £20 Ultimate Modern Products gift voucher to on our website. Really simple, really easy. Just remember one number and one number only uh, between one and a thousand. And that's that. When you ready, boys? I'm ready when you are, Norm. And we will begin in three, two, one. Start your numbers. And uh, before we get going, uh, Martin says, Catch you later, guys. Got, got to go ring me tomorrow, Norm. See you there, mate. See you there. RC yeah. Master, Master saying hi, every, oh, hi, everyone. And we have numbers coming. Let's keep on his numbers. Don't forget, don't put more than one number in. Someone's already got your number. You need to think ahead. If you've already put it in, don't change it or you get disqualified. Hate the way I put some of them on um, approval. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We are down to four minutes, folks. You have four minutes. Right. You can only get the standard Tammy Smith and UMP. Uh, it's a little bit thicker. We've got extra thin. Um, I don't think we've run out, to be honest. Anna's still watching. She can answer. I know we've just got a Tammy delivery today, or part of it. Um, hmm. I don't know, Charles. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I'm good for set for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, these, these tracks might use pretty much a whole bottle. <laughs> Sorted. Your connection down? Yeah, it's proper goose in a minute. Uh oh. Three minutes, folks. You've got just over three minutes. So, don't forget, make sure you sub to the channel, click the bell notifications to get notified of all the latest videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you're watching back afterwards. Um, I do read them all. I'm a backlogger to reply to at a minute, but I will get through them. Yes, it's for a free giveaway, Master. Um, and go check out the Facebook page and forum as well. All the links are in the description to this video. UMPRetail.com, where you can get all your modeling stuff from. We sell anything and everything. Uh, including our brand new polishing system, which is released today. Um, check out my Paul ISM page, the Live of the Bench group, the Off Air Hangout group, John's YouTube channel. There's a feed on a Sunday. You still going live on Sunday, John? Oh, I am. Yeah. Um, uh, check out Al's modeling page as well. Al's models and photography, I think it is. Yep. Yeah, on the Facebook one. And that's it. 
There we go. Oh, the other announcement as well, if you haven't heard as well, the planned Monster Heroes auction for next week has been moved. Because of the current climate um, and what's happening worldwide, we decided to move it. So it's provisionally booked in for October. We'll play that by ear and see how we get a little bit closer. So, yeah, no auction next week. Um, hopefully everyone will understand. just don't think it's the right time to do it, to be honest. Sending a whole bunch of stuff to Malcolm. No. Yeah, posting stuff. Not the person sending it might be disease ridden. Yeah. But whoever handles it in between might be. Exactly. And all you want to do is to pass anything yeah. on. Any parcels you get from the, anyone else, wipe it down yeah. with uh, disinfectant or whatever you've got. Yeah. One minute, folks. Just over one minute. We've been doing it for a couple of days or something like that just to let anything die. Yeah. So there we go. Funny numbers in the chat. Well, the recycling centres have, uh, they're all closing and uh, the recycling bins throughout the country uh, will now not be collected. So, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Is that just Scotland? Um, no, there's, there's a few places in England that are doing it, yeah. Yeah, it came out today here as well. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that, you know, they're trying to stop the spread that way as well, you know. So yeah. just do what you can. Yeah. Eat all your rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and the cardboard. Go and buy meters. Yeah. Don't go out and let you eat. Ah, we will begin the countdown in three, two, one. Stop your numbers. Here we go. Scroll back up. Right. Let me screen share if it'll work. That's sharing? Yeah. Okay. So ignore the one that was already there. I'm going to put a thousand in there. I'm going to click it. This will be the winning number. As always, if two people pick the same number, the first person to pick it in chat wins. That's the way we've always done it. And if there is one, please don't shout it out. These guys will check it. I want to know the winner. John will announce it. So the winning number for the £20 Ultimate Modern Products gift voucher is 973. 973. Nice, Oh, John Stone, you're out there, and Joseph as well. Uh, he's after the after the thing, mate. We've got to stick with the rules, unfortunately. Everyone on my everyone on their screen, so John Stone's being out. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we've got to be fair and do it for everyone. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah, nine seven three. And if you do win, you need an ultimate account. So you need to go register your email over there. And you need to email me on the ISM prize claim at gmail.com. Email it's in the description of this video with your email address, your name, and what you want. It would help for sure. Yeah, I've got a screenshot of the screen with the numbers after. Yeah, um, that's confirmed. Let's have a look because it's probably who I think. Yep. Yep, I agree with that one, guys. Oh. oh I'm, I'm still to um, Yeah. Yep, I'm in there. Uh, just quickly, as Chaz says, 15 second lag. It's not lag, it's just a delay on the feed. Um, there's no actual <laughs> lag, it's just a live delay. Yeah. YouTube put a delay in on purpose. For swearing and the like, I suspect. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yes. Not required here. I don't know. I don't, it's, 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 it's nothing to do with swearing. Because they don't cancel it. We, and we, once we say it, we can't stop it before it goes back. No, out. it's going to get out there. It'll just be buffering so they can get the connection going. It, it's, we, we've got to... We're sending our signals to the eight times eight. That's then being then sent back down to YouTube, which is then sending it back out of YouTube. 
So their servers are, have, have to work at a certain rate, so they have decent video quality. If it's streaming constant, constant feed, you think how much bad, how bad it'd be. They've got to buffer it at some point, haven't they? Hold it up and yeah. process it. Yeah. Nice dope, like that. <clears throat> yeah, some are worse than others, but yeah, it's always a delay. Yeah. It doesn't it make a difference when we're in the chat. Other than that, it makes no difference to the feed. You're, you're still hearing us as we talk. It's just not exactly in time with the chat. Yeah, there's a delay, delay between us and people watching, but it's, yeah. Anyway, we... You know your camera's off, yeah? Yes, I do, because uh, there's something occurring. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Wait for the sploosh. No. The, <laughs> the sound. I don't know what he's doing. <clears throat> right, microphone, that's what he's got. Curl one. Um, so, for the UMP £20 voucher, the number drawn was 973, and the closest to it with 910 was Claire. Well, 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 yeah, if you can email me on the email address with your email you've used for your UMP account, I will get that sorted for you. Well done. And there we go. Congrats. Well done. I get a feeling there might be a set of polishing compounds on their way to Claire very shortly. <laughs> Yay. Maybe. You never know. She can buy whatever she wants for £20. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Free. Yeah. There we go. Well done. We have the artist formerly known as Rancher Dan. <laughs> uh, hey guys, how's it hanging? Been working hard here in the home office. Silly working has really inspired me to stay on task. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, it, it, it's the way you tell them. It, it's true though, Kev says that you're actually getting funnier, Dan. <laughs> uh, Aaron says if he watches on its phone it, on his phone, it's a shorter delay. Joseph Sir saying he said 9.20. Yeah. yeah but after yeah. the stock numbers now, I did get a screenshot of that because yeah. that would have affected the result. Yeah, I did say that before. You're out of time. Still there. Yeah. I'm trying to use my mouse on my iPad. Yeah, yeah you're out of time, Joseph. You were one, yeah. two, three, four comments after John put stock numbers now and the five minutes have run out. So, yeah. unfortunately, if you've been on the ball... You'd have been closer, I think. Yep. Really. But you weren't. But that's that. Rules are rules. It, it happens. Rules. Yes. Uh, uh, Mars Martin didn't even know he was entering a giveaway. <laughs> uh, Ken's saying, uh, is my self-isolating potty mouth for seven days? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah. Oh, he says big announcement here in Ireland going into lockdown from tonight. I've caught up with you, the mic. Oh, just ordered the Tamiya one twenty fourth Nissan R three ninety GT one from UMP. Looking forward to building it. That is a great kit. I built that one myself. Excellent. I got one of them in the stash, I think, somewhere. Always this engine in it. Um, dun, 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 lots of well done and congrats to Claire. Dun, 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 dun. And Kiwi Gav has finally got the internet to the cave. Was going to get a quality webcam next. Had to wait till lockdown is finished. Looking forward to getting online with you lads at some point. Yeah, definitely. Me. Definitely. Good yeah. crack. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, yeah. you'll enjoy it. We'll corrupt you in no time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sadly, Joseph, you did have five minutes to put the number in and decided to put it in at the last few seconds. So, there's not much we can do about that, really. Sorry. No, no, no. Five minutes should be plenty of time. Yeah. No need to try and snipe. No, 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 no. no. Right. And yeah, we're all pretty much caught up with chat. Superb. Okay, so I don't have any plans for Saturday, but I can probably guess what they are. Modeling. Um, uh, 
I, I've, I've got to swear word, swear word, swear word, swear word, swear word, wallpaper, swear word, swear word, punch in face, swear word, mm -hmm. swear word, swear word. That's my <laughs> Poss possibly, possibly the, the swear word. He's a goner. Lots of dad, aren't we? He's a goner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've actually got a day off, so I might just sleep. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we have some good news, which we all need at this moment. Uh, Ricky Marler, evening guys, hope all is well. One of our members, Daniel Kemp, just had his second child born. Oh, congrats. Congratulations. Cool. Ah, congrats. Well done. Congratulations. And uh, Charles Stanhope saying, thank you so much, Paul, everyone at UMP, for keeping everything going. Hope you're not having to make too many trips to post out the items. No, the only trips we need to make are to the storage unit where we've got some stuff stored. Uh, post all gets picked up from the house by couriers. No, we, 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 we're going nowhere. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, James says the next time he'll put his number with no less than 30 seconds to account for the delay. And Kev says the quicker you put your number in, the less chance someone else will pick the same number before you. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's not what you can do if you miss out. It's uh, it's one of those, unfortunately. Good luck with the draw, actually. Me and Paul do have, well, we've both done screenshots of it because. Sometimes it can appear in different orders on different people's. Oh, yeah. You're out there. Yeah. Yeah. I always refresh the page and all that before I do the... Just put your yeah. number in at the start, though, CJ. Yeah, as soon as you can. Um, Paul. Yeah? You see the brush wash thing that you were talking about, the little bottle? Yeah. Is that is it gay notes or gay yeah, notes? Yeah, yeah. Gay notes, yeah. That's the one, yeah. I yeah. stayed on that. Cheers. It's cracking. They're good as well, they are. Right, Gav's saying that. I'm going to read the comment. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Um, at some point on the show, could you could someone go over the steps to be set up properly for joining you lads? Well, you need a decent internet connection. That always helps. Um, decent camera uh, with either the mic in the camera or the mic used for your machine. For your machines, will be better. The camera's not very good than the webcams. Uh, the mic's yeah. very good. In the webcams... Um, you just click on the link, and it should bring you straight in. You might have to download an app, but it should bring you straight in. And that's it. Just make sure you've got no massive background noise, people screaming, loud TVs, et cetera, et cetera. And that's it, mate. Just, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You see, I can really. I mean, if you've got a headset, that's ideal. Yeah. Is that too? Uh, Stuart says, Stuart Avery, hi guys. Sorry I'm late. It's been convincing a friend not to have visitors this weekend for an hour and a half. Wow. Hope you're all okay and weekend on the bench ahead. No. Yeah, not Nobody's good. welcome at my house. No one. It's all right, Stuart. I'm used to reading through spell yeah. check problems. Stuart, you've... I'm using my point them out. Yeah. As Daryl said, yeah, use Chrome if you can. For the... Yeah, so you need to use Chrome. Phones will work and tablets will work, but they're not the best. They're a bit iffy. Uh, Stuart, Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all keeping safe. Al, Al, go on. No, it's okay. No, go on. We get I'm just going to say, Stuart, you, you've recommended a few folk to join ISM. Can you message them and tell them that there are questions that need to be answered before yeah, they'll get in? Otherwise. They, they, they may not know. Um, a couple of your guys have, have answered and I've let them in, but, you know, as for the rest, on you go. Up to you. So you actually okay. see the questions when you get requested by another person? No, I don't think so. If we click on it, it should be there. Yeah. Mm. But the quicker you answer the questions, the quicker you'll get in. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't answer the questions, QDC, wasn't it? Uh, Colin Fott, he, um, he's the QDC YouTube guy. No idea. Yeah. Why? I was one of the guys that Stuart invited. Ah, okay. Ah, yes, I know who that guy is, yes. Oh, uh, Daryl points out you have five away from 100 likes. Come on, people. Oh, yeah, come on. 
cool. Good mile starting to get. Superb. Again, I'll point out the way the YouTube algorithms work. The more likes you have in steps, as it were, the more they promote what is going on. Mm -hmm. so if you've got a thousand likes, you'll appear right near the top of the live feeds. If you've got 12, you'll appear at the bottom of the list. And people don't scroll that far down. <laughs> Except the trolls. Except the trolls, you know, they've already got the box and all been booted. Yeah, yeah, good point, good point. <laughs> the occasional troll is always a bit of fun. Right, Dan, do you want to go to section of world, if it works? <laughs> I'm just trying. I don't have all that much hope. I've got it loaded if we need. Uh, we lost him already, have we? Yeah, is, that, is, that, is that a bye, Dan? We'll, we'll give him a go. Yeah. I tried him at the hotel. It was a bit... Um, salty. Mm -hmm. I think he's just totally gone on here. Yeah. Kicking out of it right now. Yeah, this is what was, there's now so many people at home. It's just now so it's making the system so overly used. I suppose more of us aren't actually having issues, to be honest. Well, yeah. Sorry, man. I just stuck the second order in, so we just want to throw it all in the one box. Okay. Hopefully, Hannah will uh, on that. is listening. Sweet. I forgot to order some other stuff. So. Well, message Lee for a refund on your postage. Ah, oh, no, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll sort it out with you then. Right, he's back. Oh, one well, of them nights. Yeah. And I. You know, I was taking piss out to Jim last night. Yeah. 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 This, is, this, this, <laughs> is what, now. this is what's known in the world as payback, I think. Karma. I think it's something to do with the karma, Dan. Well, karma can go and bleep away. Uh, bleep. Well, then, Dan, while you can, let's go. Right, everyone, evening, folks. We might not everyone, everyone take note of your favourite builds. Um, write them down. And vote for him at the end, and the winner wins a ten pound UMP gift voucher. Sorry, Dan. Uh, hopefully, we'll stay until the end. And the first one out of the gate on the forum, as always uh, tonight, is Digger three hundred three. Says this is a mini art one thirty fifth scale Calibri two eight two V six on a shipboard platform tied down uh, because it's a tail sitter more than anything. It created uh, some issues, however. It it came together in the end, not perfect, but finished. Nice, that like a little day about it. I've got to say, we had to canopy on that. There's not a cat in L's chance my head would be anywhere above the foot pedals. <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking, that just looks like it's you're going to scratch your head and lose a finger. <laughs> not, not that head. Uh, this is Ranger Neil next. He says he's plugging away at Zvezda's 1144 Tupolov TU-160 Blackjack Bomber. A nice kit to build, but it's a fundamental issue at the moment. Primed the wings with Tamir Grey, painted one surface with Humble 22 Gloss White, and it looked awful. Tried to spray over with Tamir Gloss White Acrylic, and it's reacted very badly. Needs to find uh, a way to remove the paint, and the usual method recommended uh, in this forum is soaking in Dettel is currently a non-starter due to short supply. Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, cool looking aircraft that black jack. Yeah. There's a little someone else to take paint off when you got no debt hole. Yeah. Well what's humble uh that's enamel in it. Uh might be. Oh yeah. So would you not, would Mr. Level and Thinner not fetch that off? Oh, yeah. Head? Should do. Yeah, Mr. Level and Thinner, that'll take it out. Oh, 
that's what I'd probably use, Mr. Leveling Thinner, because, yeah, because it don't eat your plastic like uh, other products possibly have done in the past by me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is F27 Packs next. He says, good evening, isolated modelers. Oh, that's good. Uh, this evening, here yeah. is a freshly complete completed 1144th Revell Airbus A320 in the current delivery of Air New Zealand. Uh, many and various paints were used, the main ones being Tamiya TS26 Pure White, TS14 Black, TS83 Metallic Silver and my local automotive paint shops Airbus Grey. Mm. Uh, the delivery are a mixture of all models, uh, ATS and uh, Rick walk-up decals. Uh, there's plenty more where this one came from, and now that he's got nowhere else to be, <laughs> I quite like that though. That's cool. Wow, that is nice. He puts out some models. Yeah. Uh, this is El Capitan next. Oh, he God. says it's been a while since he's joined in wow. with this for a variety of reasons, but here's what he's been working on. It's an Airfix Chinook HC1 in Operation Granby. Uh, special forces wow. camouflage wow. uh, which has been wow. working on for the four hovering sick and he doubts he'll get it finished in four days the color base is extra acrylic desert pink and the camouflage is brush painted to near xf1 and he's still to assemble the rotors paint the black underside add the wheels a few decals matte varnish and weathering nice that's very very that's very important that's cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Rather you than me. I would say it boggle my brain, mm. that bad boy. Looks good though. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Hawk Moon next. And this is his IBG models PLZ P11C Polish fighter in 130 second scale. It's quick. Uh, this is uh, the beast, uh, the latest kit from IBG. The detail on the wings and fuselage is outstanding. So much so it pops even more when the paint is applied. Uh, the build is along the lines of a wing nut wings kit, and the cockpit is just as detailed as the aircraft surfaces. Uh, paint used was the dedicated set for this aircraft from Hataka's new lacquer range. Mm. Went together well, and overall a nice kit. Sure you like that. Lovely aircraft. Strange but cool. All at the same time. Uh, this is Aurora 145, and I've got to say, this is cool as. Uh, it says, howdy all. This week he's been sanding and filling a pig model's one-to-one -one scale, 8.8 centimetre, uh, PZGR.39, APCBC L56, also known as the cannon shell, the Tiger One fired. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, should be a good conversion piece when it's all conversation piece even when it's all painted up hope everyone is having a wonderful week in isolation and not feeling too lonely but there's oh. yeah you have to scroll right down because wow. the picture's just bonkers wow <laughs> but weirdly I, i've got a funny feeling dan needs one of them sat in his cave somewhere that's cool. cool now what you need is on the soviet 152 <laughs> uh possibly but yeah, that is quite cool as. Oh, my blue turd. That's a Subaru. Oh, that looks cool, Dan. That looks nice, Dan. Oh, nice. uh, it's, it's the wrong colour, but hey ho, it's blue. <laughs> it's not quite hard enough, it were. Uh -huh. Oh, crack and finish her, Dan. Uh, that's literally uh, GX100 straight out the gun with a quick mist of Mr. Leveling Thinner. That's good. Yeah. Look nice when you paint it, mate. Very nice. Why am I scrolling to stop my screen? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a in ultimate grey, and it's got LP41 mica blue, then a barrier coat of aqua glass, then a copious amount of GX100 squirted everywhere. Oh, very nice, man. Very nice. Yeah. And that's the forum, so let's press stop. Cheers, Claire. Got your details. Thank you. I'll get that sorted on Monday for you. Grin at the stage, people. Yeah, nice moustache. Oh. You're feeding hairy caterpillars again, Dan. I'm not going nowhere, so why won't that go away? I'm off it. Go away! 
we're going to slide into face ache next that's behaving really weirdly tonight again for me be it quick i think it might be just the uh, internet connection around here is getting shite but mike tynan is the first one out of the gate this evening Ooh, he says hi crew. he's just finished the hasagawi 124th subaru legacy rs uh, he's primed with UMP grey, he's painted it with Gravity Spain's triple five blue. Decals laid down with UMP decal solutions. He's cleared it with Gravity Spain gloss clear. Uh, mixture of LP paints and AK Extreme Metals. Polished with some compound and polishers. Mm. Nice, Mike. That's a cracking looking build, Mike. Yeah, it does look good. Very nice, mate. Mm. See, look at that. Why, why does that? And then all of this weird. Yeah, Facebook's a bit good. Weird. Uh, this is Glenn Woodruff next. I like this one too. He says it's finished. Mm -hmm. He finished it last week, but only took photos this week. It's Airfix's new 172nd Blackburn Buccaneer uh, S2C. I uh, built it with Master Metal Pito and IFR probes, uh, Freight Dog resin, uh, body refueling pod, uh, flight path. PE set, uh, which includes intakes and exhaust covers and ladders, also added RP bang handles and homemade seat straps, painted with extra color enamels and extra acrylic varnish with decals all from the kit. It's real nice. Mm. Yeah, that does look good, that. See in real life, you boys should know this, that probe, does that stay out in real life? Yes. Yes. It does? Yes. That's nice. I it's like a combined that. probe oh, yeah. and uh, um, wire cutting. This is radio antenna, and and not for his walkie-talkie radio. It's for like Radio One and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is Digsby James next. Uh, this is a one forty-eight Academy Mig twenty-one MF. Uh, paint R A K Interactive Cockpit Turquoise Vallejo model Air. Black Vallejo model air fryer red to me X2 white and Vallejo gloss varnish as always. Thanks for taking a look Don't forget to hit the like button join the live show have a great show from our house to everyone stay healthy. Cheers Excellent. Yeah, very nice uh, This is Mason next uh, He says hi all this week has been finishing off its 35th scale Panzer Wagon by Academy. Paints are UMP Grey Primer, followed by Tamir LP Dark Yellow Base Color, and NATO Green and NATO Brown for the camo. All spray through uh, his ultimate airbrush. He finished the model with AK Weather and Washers and Streak and Grind from AK. Nice and easy kit to build for the display. Uh, he's painted the tracks with Tamir LP German Grey and Vallejo Rust Effects, then finished them with a dry brush of Tamir Aluminium XF. Uh, the ballast, the ballast, <laughs> it's painted with several shades of Tamir Grey. Thanks for looking and happy modeling. Nice. nice. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to be cool. Up, uh... oh, I like this one as well. Mr. John Stone. He says, greetings once again, spruce smugglers and slaves to the plastic. This week, then, we see the completion of the Italiero one ninth scale German Ken Crowd. It is primed using UMP Black and painted using Tamir XF60. Oiled by Ammo of Make. Hope you like it. Thanks for looking. We model on. Nice work, mate. Nice. I love those tracks. Yeah, they do look good. Very good, mate. They really do. That's the paint, really cool. The paint's pretty good as well. That's crap. It is. This is a bonkers scheme. This is Mr. Wayne Hall next. Uh, he says, hi all, this week he's been working on it as his academy, 148 scale SU-27 flanker C. It's been primed in UMP black primer, then painted in MIG ammo colors and mass using the excellent Foxbot digital camo mask set. Uh, the engines are painted in AK Extreme Metals using a mix of aluminium, dark aluminium, hard make, and burnt metal. Uh, the next step is a clear coat and a simple UMP concrete wash to make the panel lines pop. Thanks for looking. Very nice. That's, That's a mad, mad, mad monster mega kit. That's, oh, yeah. It's a beast, you know. The, Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Go ahead, man. The decals are bonkers. 
very little fits on that kit to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is Ola Hansen next. He says, Hi all, he's finally started on his, to me, 120th scale, McLaren MP4 slash 4, uh, carbon fiber from Studio 27, super detail upset from Top Studio, Prime with your complete black. Uh, this is going to take time, and it will make other kits also. Nice. Good start. Ooh. That's a good start. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that's Mr. Tony Davey. Uh, he says, hi, Dan and crew. Finally finished the Trump to 135th striker with doser fitting. Uh, with Luke's heads up, it went together well. Your MP Grey Primer. Final finish with Tamir Acrylics. All sprayed through is your MP Apex, aka washes plus some Vallejo pigments. All mounted on a homegrown dial base. Thanks, be safe and well. Nice. I, I do like that one. That's yeah, really good. Nice work. Lovely. Come on, face eight, move. Slowly. This Mr. Andrew Greenshields next. I wonder if he stamps. <laughs> <laughs> that were a bad joke, but. He says, hello, Dan and the live crew. This week, he has been working on his first ever Dio for the Tiger One Late from Trumpeter in 35th scale. They're currently build, uh, building the Dio uh, will be based in Pooland uh, in July 1944. And the tank will be of the 3 uh, SPZ ABT 505 unit. Good job. Good choice of airbrush cleaner in the background there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never noticed that. Nice place one. Weirdly, I quite like this one as well. This is Hugo, Hugo Santos next. Oh. He says, Hi, guys. This one he finished this uh, just this past Sunday, he, and he's going to call it. You either love it or hate it. Uh, paint job done in, uh, uh, in a Tamiya 124 scale Porsche 911 GT2 road version. This paint job was inspired by a real 911 that he saw in a car show he's used mostly mr color and tamir paints for the body uh fire fire scale modeler 1k satin clear ak extreme metal for the me mechanical parts zero paints texture paint in seat and steering wheel and fire scale modeler chrome to lightly spray the roll cage uh it was different than what it usually does pardon me but a lot of fun and a lot of learning while building this one Ooh. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know, very yeah. 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 I saw it the other day and I was like, that's really quite unusual. And yeah. yeah. Difference, good. Yeah. Different is good. Don't be a sheeple. <laughs> uh, Mr. Stuart Avery next. And he says, with the Phantom on hold, he's decided to start on Italiari 72nd Wessex HU5. It is filled in the sink marks with perfect plastic putty and built up the internal structure with uh, Slater's sprue. Good start, Stuart. Cool. Oh, second post, but it's a different one. Uh, it says also on the pans two, uh, it'll be adding chipping with Vallejo RLM 66 spiral grab. Let's see what I did there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bus is not open. <laughs> uh, this is Daryl e. Masters next. He says, Hi, all almost finished his Bandai 1144 Slave One. Primed it uh, in Vallejo and painted in Vallejo Model Air. He's used hairspray for the chipping, just some small hand painting and washes to the engine area. Looking good. Very good. Gotta love a Slave One. Uh, this is Mr. Scott Shaw next. Go away. He says, terrain practice for his previously completed 48 MWD truck from Airfix. He thinks he's used every diorama product that he owns, uh, which isn't many. Still the static grass and pooled water to do after this is fully dry. Not bad. No, that'll be cool. Looks like a cookie. I could eat cookies right now. <laughs> 
Uh, Mr. David Robinson is next. He says he's been working on the Meng 135th scale USMC M1A1. It's a lovely build, except for the tracks, which were brittle. Uh, fully hand painted in Tamiya buff, uh, gold, clear red, sky green for the smoke discharges, and a few other paints. Uh, still needs to fit a camo net over the front of the turret. That's good for hand painting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Mr. James Moe next. That's pretty good. Uh, wow. Bloke in background's racing it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Shagar. He says he's nearly finished working on the Ravel 1144 uh, scale flower class Corvette HMS Buttercup. Uh, predominantly airbrush right. with some hand painting using Vallejo Model Air and Tamiya Acrylics. It's straight from the box. Aside from using easy line for the rigging. Nice. That is really nice. That's, that's what, eh? It's some good. Is that the old matchbox kit? Must be. Uh, yeah. It's because it's only made two. No, the matchbox 72nd. That was yeah, one in 44. Revel, that one. Oh, yeah, that's Revel. Revel. Call me Revel, then. Yeah, it's a new tooling. Apparently, it's Revel. <laughs> new, new for Revel. Come on. This is Mr. Peter Rich next. He says he's been slowly putting decals on the swords for the 1 100th Ashtray Gundam uh, in between shifts at work. To me, a paint. Uh, hang on. To me, a paint pit pot. Pardon? Reference to the size of the beast. I like this idea of a paint pit. Yeah, paint pit sounds better. <laughs> Must got your name on it, damn one of those. It and you know, fancy it? No, no, I got no good. Be good, don't get me wrong. Be good, however, another one to screw the life out of Sarah. Oh, they're just ball legs to put together. There's that many pieces with them. You know, the look of one that I did that, that's mm -hmm. now not, not on my bench. <laughs> that's, how, that's how good they are. Yeah, all right. It's, it's, I like them, and they look good if somebody else puts them together and paints them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Joe Yellow next, uh, and this is a Pacific Coast 132nd Hurricane Mark One Early. Mm -hmm. That looks a big piece of plastic. Who are you calling a piece of plastic? <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Daniel Blair next. <laughs> oh, it come out with the best line last night. Oh, oh who was he? Floats like a good turd. Yeah, he said, "I float like a good turd." Now, yeah. I, 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 I tell everybody, and it, it, it popped on last night in the hangout with a, an orange tank top that somebody referenced to a life jacket. <laughs> at, at, at which point, I needed to say that he floats like a good turd. And three seconds after that, I had to leave the hangout because I was done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely enough, you can see it, can't you? It's something you can actually like see in front of your eyes. Dan floating along like a good time. Anyway, moving on. And this is Daniel Blair. <laughs> You're not this is Heller's 1946 Talbot Lego uh, in 24th scale. He's painted it in Tamiya. Primer grey base, then to me a TS29 pure white and two toned with me a metallic black. Uh, this was a decent kit, good fitment and detail. If you'd like to own a one to one version of this, it'll cost you about 800G. Mm. He's done a hell of a good job on that Heller kit. Yeah, he's done a really nice job on that. For a Heller kit, definitely. Mm -hmm. And if I had got 800G, it wouldn't be spent on one of those. Yeah, nope. I can I can think of way better cars than that that'll make your eyes boggle. Yeah. Uh, this is Tristan Morgan next. Please don't mix up them drinks because they look almost alike. <laughs> uh, he's working on this massive one one forty fourth Ravel Boeing seven four seven four hundred that is going to be in the northwest. Airlines bowling shoe livery with decals from Draw Decal 
And this model will also have LED lights with self-contained power, so it won't need to be wired up to a stand. Cool. Cool. Please, please, please get a manlier drink than something called Mike's. Oh, I'm going to drink Mike's. Mm, it, don't, oh. <laughs> it, it don't sound right, that, does it? <laughs> uh, and this is Miroslav next. He says, hi, everyone. He's just finished up another Jägermeister car in his collection. It's a Tamiya 124 scale Porsche Turbo RSR Type 934. Have a great show, everyone. Nice. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's looking good. It's a cracked finish, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I, like that. I, like, I like the wheels. He's got a belt in set of wheels there. Cool. Yeah. That's really nice. Come on, face ache. Scroll up. You know you want it. Uh, this is Mr. Dan Croak. Uh, this is a Italiere 124 scale Audi Quattro. Bodywork primed in UMP white. Prime seems good. First time using it. Kit is not particularly good, though. I'll, I'll, I'll vouch for the white primer, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Multiple thin coats and you're golden. Yeah. And are you a piece in of it? Come on, face ache. Come on, you. Oh, it's so. Oh, it will like it when you jump start. It will. This is Chris Stover next. He's finished this to me a 48th scale F14A Tomcat. It's not perfect as it's his first jet. Uh, it's painted with Model Master and Tamiya paints. It's a real nice kit. Very nice. I hope, you've got, good, I hope you've got a good supply of Model Master because they're no longer. Nope. Mm -hmm. Pull the plug midweek, I think, last week. Yeah, Very nice for a first jet. Yeah, probably. I like these as well. This is Mr. Dave Hill, and he's finished these two Academy 32nd scale socked with camels from the 43rd Squadron. Nice. He's used UMP Grey Primer and Tamiya paint, along with MIG oil brushes for the simulated wood. There were. Uh, cockpits were enhanced with aftermarket wicket seats and belt set. Uh, the challenge was to make to the challenge was to make them the same but different with different tones. Hmm. Uh, and markings. Thanks to Paul uh, and all for the daily shows. Ah, nice one, Dave. Oh, very nice. Did do look good? Did do look good? Is that Benny in the jet? Could be. Uh, um, Twenty past. Could be. Might be wrong. <laughs> Uh, this is Mr. Dave Maddox. He says, well, so far this week, he's been banging the plastic together on the 112 scale Trumpeter GT40 with the added KA models aftermarket set. There is a bit more done than this, but easier to show the smaller bits. Oh, oh, nice round. That is really cool. That KA set is not cheap. Though. No. no. It's to add detail. Looking at that, he likes rimming. Oh, yes, a very nice room. So little there. Mr. Ian Christie is next. Nice. And he says he's finally done this hybrid mm. hobby, JS2M in 35th scale. First time with frill tracks and the superb UMP burnishing fluid. Uh, photo is before he messed the pigment up by spraying dull coat. Oh. Happy modeling. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Pretty pigment on no, you don't, you don't always need to gloss. You don't always need to matte. Right. Put the pigments on last. And yeah. don't touch it. Just, just sometimes put the weather, just leave, put the weathering on and leave it out when it dries. Yeah. Yes. It's Man. not you be running around the carpet, is it, playing with it? Nope. <laughs> 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 oh, you spoiled my dreams now. <laughs> 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 uh, Mr. Patrick Kennedy next. He says, hello, everyone. Oh, He's just finished the 112 Tamiya Caterham Super 7 BDR Cosworth Masters Coachwork Kit. Uh, the finish is bare aluminium, uh, TS-54 light metallic blue, TS-13 clear. Interior is carpeted with uh, nice kit-provided material, and the seats are... Uh, black, black. Yep. I would just beat them to it. Steering and suspension are functional. Lots of tiny screws, but also lots of fun. Worth every minute. 
a two and a half week build. Have a great show. Come join the off air hangouts. They're great. Hey. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. And they everybody. Yep. Now I'll cover it up because it'll get covered in dust. Uh, this is Enrico. Hang on. This is Enrico. To Rico. This is Enrico. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Ouija. It, look, it looks like Ouija. 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 Hey. Enrico. <laughs> this is almost done with the decals on the Tamiya Alpha Romeo 155B6 Ti in 124 scale and do the clear coat. Nice. It's a strange looking car, that. The wing, right. them wind deflectors were always a bit weird. It's just... a nice join that bonnet as well. Yes. Because there's always a cap on it. Come on. Come on, Facebook. You know you want it. Oh, I love this one. This one really caught my eye. Wait, this one. Oh, look at that, Mister Bapathwell. That's cool. Yeah. He oh, said he's wow. finished to me a one twentieth Lotus seventy nine nineteen seventy eight Mario Andretti F one car. He's used it to me a photo etch upgrade set, aftermarket JPS, and Goodyear decals. He's surprised that there were no tire decals included in the kit. He's primed in UMP Grey Primer, Zero Paints Jet Black, and clear coated using Omnicron 2K. Uh, flattered the finish with 3000 Wet and Dry, and then polished with Maguire's three step polishing system. It's the best looking F1 car, in his opinion. Hope you guys like it as much as I do. Yeah, very nice. Very, very, nice. very, very, nice. Nice. Yeah. very, very, very the best looking F1s. Oh, yeah. That's the one. I think it had, it had the uh, little. Thing that dropped down, weren't it? No, it's different, but yeah. similar but different. I want to say what I want yeah. to say. Same sort of bodywork, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it, 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 yeah, it, yeah. What were it, what were it called? What were it called downdraft or something? It, uh, I've forgotten the name. Uh, the whole body moved as it got it, as as air yeah. went over it, it pushed down and blah blah blah. Yeah, got back. Yeah, push it down. It was it was and, it was, a the, uh, it was a stretch in the rules, as I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this oh, is Mr. Yeah. Matthew Straw. He says, Greetings, everyone. It's finished the AMK 48 scale F14D suit Tomcat. Cool. Uh, it's been a blast to work on. He's added his own twist as well with a what if loadout and display. Uh, mainly the GBUs were never used this way, but it was a fun project. All paints are Mr. Colour and Tamiya. Wheels and seats are Edward Resin and PE. Hope you've all gotten some bench time in during the crow crisis. And his heart goes out to the folks in the UK. Cheers, Looks good. Looks good. Stunning. That's Stunning. nice. Nice time. I like. This is Mr. Kevin Marshall. He says, just a little bit of interior done on the Dragon 172nd Seeking AW2. Uh, resin engine painted up and fitted, almost ready to fit fuselages together. Nice, Fred. Nice, Very good. This is Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell next. He says he's not done much to the one mark scale Esky Panzer Grenadier other than installing the buttons on the tunic and priming the tunic EMP i black. Uh, the pants, trousers, are painted in Vallejo German uniform, lightened with German camo beige, and he decided to use the camera flash to try and capture, capture some more detail. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Working well. This is going to be a beast of a kit as well. This is Mr. Mark Dubrun next. Jesus. Ooh. He says he's still working on the Maserati 250. F in one talk scale from Model Factory Hero. He did a dry fit of the major components and looks good so far. Engine done now, working on the frame of the driver. Wow. That's fucking good. It's a major build there, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh, yeah. well, I think that he looks good. He's going to kick its ass. Don't be uh, this is uh, Wolfgang Vith. He says, hello, live crew. He's working at at the moment, on the 24th scale Tamiya Subaru and Pretzel WRC 2001. Uh, today, applied the decals. The result is not perfect, but you get a 
look a bit of picture a little better with every model if you i wish you all a nice weekend and stay healthy greetings from austria nice see you very good very nice yeah that's nice huh? question about this possibly paul and sam might be able to answer it why is the exhaust pipe white ceramic coated isn't it white well, yeah, yeah. What, in, inside and outside just outside it'll be no it'll be outside it's outside keeps all the heat in and gets it out quicker yeah ah they used to do, you should do it on the f1 cars in the 40s and 50s ah yeah, they used to do the old rack they used to do that yeah. uh fabric wrap it saves doing that it's hugely more costly right. and it and it can come off if you whack the exhaust it comes off mm -hmm. so ah. stage one it's fine stage two half of it's missing yeah you should see the old Ferraris with the V12s, flats, and uh, they had been wrapped in the, the cloth. I've seen I've seen them wrapped up, but I just never thought that the uh, ceramic coat on the outside of an entire exhaust. Mm -hmm. What do I know? Some money worth there with that thing. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, Mr. Charles Stanhope is next. Uh, he's continuing. Why is everything covered in plastic? That's scary. <laughs> what was you doing before that picture was taken? Moving oh, along yeah. quickly. Uh, continuing with the Ravel 132nd F F18E. Uh, it's a lovely kit. Uh, this is the engine nozzle and air intake. He's primed with UMP Black Primer and painted with Tamiya X2 White. And he's also purchased critical Jack Daniel supplies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wrong section for the supplies. Wrong section. Uh -huh. This is Mr. Dan Edmonds next. He says, evening, Dan. This week he's been working on his 124 scale Tamiya Ferrari Enzo for the Mark Hawkins Memorial build. He's managed to get most of the engine, the suspension, discs and wheels along with the monocoque done. Still loads to do, but very much enjoying the build. He's used UMP primers, Tamiya LP paints, all chrome parts bleached and repainted. Scale Motorsport 120th scale carbon. To me, a panel line accent black, zero textured red, UMP decal solution, UMP apex with both the 0.2 and 0.35 needles. Stay safe, stay home. Yep. Yeah. 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 Nice. nice. Clean, clean build. Yeah. That's lovely detail in that engine. We have Mr. Ryan Cancino next. He says, hello, guys. Although he hasn't come to much progress, he did manage to finish this 125th scale Datsun 620 pickup by MPC. Uh, he's got nothing nice to say about MPC kits. Uh, as this one put up a fight uh, at the end, opened the doors, detailed the interior, swapped the motor with a SR20. Uh, Bodywork included custom wheel arches and slammed stance. Nice. Uh, finished with a pink champagne pearl paint and duplicate clear. Not perfect, but nice to look at after all. Thanks for looking, and as always, stay inspired. Cool, cool. cool. That's, That's nice. Made right. a like, touch with the uh, mat there. I like, I like the engine. Yeah, the mat's good enough. It's very lovely, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. That is low. I did like a Datsun back in the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Alan Foster is next. He says, first kit back after a long, long health-related break, taking things easier with a small kit. This is a 72nd to me at SAS Jeep. Yeah, nice to see you back, Alan. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And the last one of the evening is Mr. Timothy Ivards. Oh, he says, that's oh. the Gravity Spain four ruby red and the 2k sprayed on the Ravel 125 scale Foose Eldorado. A few specs of a little bit dust, a bit dust, sorting out, but he's pretty happy with it. Yeah, that looks good. That, that looks very nice. Too. So, let, did that's you finish? Did you use the bare metal foil or did you uh, no, that's bare metal foil? Awesome. So you did persevere with it after I left then last night. Yeah, so in the end, I was, I was sitting there with you. So what I did was I, I cut strips. And so what, what I realised I was doing wrong was instead of 
I was just putting it over the piece and then having to cut all the way around it. And I realised I'm making myself life harder because I'm trying to cut two edges. I can always... You, you could never get the very... Because it's not a very sharp edge on that Revel moulding. Yeah. You are, you are trying to get it straight. You can never get that straight. So I realised, cut it straight with the ruler and I pushed the top edge, sat the top edge and I sat it down where I wanted it to. So I didn't have to trim the top. And then I only trimmed the bottom. So if there is any wonkiness, yeah. it's the bottom, you, you don't see it. Good Do you know what, Tim? After everything, said, after everything you've ever said over the last, I don't know, six years, yeah, that right there is the best advice you've ever given about anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I missed that. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted by something. What did he say? So, so, start and, and trim the bottom. So I so I tr cut the uh, bare metal foil off in strips, and then I I, I, I managed to line the top edge oh, right, with see. the straight edge, so I didn't have to trim that one. So it was all, always going to be straight. Got you. Yeah. Simple as that. Looks yeah. fantastic, man. Nice. No, that, no, I've got excellent that, that looks awesome, Timbo. I quite yeah. I love that color. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's worked out well. It's a lovely colour. Yeah, that colour's lovely. I'm sitting in the cabinet now, and I'm going to leave that alone until next week. Good lad. Until the end of next week. and then Five, five days, you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, after the middle, middle of next week, I'll, I'll look, bring it out and start having a look and see, see how it's going. And that's it for this week. And I will just say that Mr. Alan Foster has uh, said that it's not a 7-second SAS to me a Jeep. It's a 30-second scale. And I did just read it, but yeah, that's it now. <laughs> right, I'll just quickly share this, then you can go back to what you need to do. I'll stop that. I'll wave at the. Give it a wave. Nice one, Dan. We'll see how the rest of this uh, sharing malarkey goes. Oh, well, I, I'm currently sat here in agony because my trap nerve in my back started playing up. Oh my God. Oh my. I can't. Oh, still, it's like lightning bolt down my leg. Oh, not down my leg, but you know, down your spine. If you've you ever struggled with a trap, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's really well. really, you can't get comfy at all. They just keep everything you to move. And uh, it's slowly driving me nuts. Oh, take a couple of Kokoda mold, Paul. I did earlier on, Al. Yeah. Didn't do anything. Carry that. <laughs> I'll send you a drop on morphine. You'll be okay. <laughs> I can't remember what time I had them. I don't think it was when I was coming here. I can't remember. I think you want to go to bed. I'll be all right. Yeah. Right. So you're going to get five minutes to vote. Pick your favorite builder, and I try and remember the builder's name and the kit if you can. The builder the most votes will win a ten pound UMP gift voucher at the end. Whenever you're ready, boys. I'm ready when you are, Norm. I'm ready. I need to begin your voting and recap in three, two, one. Start your vote. Uh, uh, ding. And Digger 303 with his mini art 135th Calibre 282v6. We have Ranger Neil with his Vez the 1144 Tupelo TU160 Blackjack Bomber. We have F27 packs with his 1144th Revell Airbus A320. We have El Capitan with his FX Chinook HC1. We have Hawkmoon with the IBG models uh, P11C Polish Fighter. We have Aurora 145 with his pig models uh, one to one scale of his Tiger 1 shell. We have my blue turd. Oh, quickly going to... Wow, that sounded like a plaster that's going to hurt. Yeah. Four minutes, down, you got four minutes, mate. Oh, panic stations. Quick, press button. We'll do it. One. One. Oh, is that back showing again? Yeah. Cool. Although Facebook stops... Oh, there we go. Why does it do that? We have Mr. Mike Tynan with his Hasegawi 124th Subaru Legacy RS. We have Mr. Glenn Woodruff. John, this one for me, please. Uh, with his parents, 72nd Blackburn Buccaneer S2C. We have Bigsby James with his 48th scale Academy MiG 21MF. 
We have Mace Mullet with his 35th scale Panzerwagen by Academy. We have John Stone with his uh, Palieri 1 9th scale German Kettenkrad. We have Wayne Hall with his Academy 48 scale SU 27 Flanker C. Uh, Ola Hansen with a Tamiya 120th McLaren MP4 slash 4. Uh, Mr. Tony Davy with a Trump 135th scale striker with a dozer fitting. Mr. Andrew Greenshields, no joke this time, with a Tiger One Late from Trump to in 35th scale. Nice. Mr. Hugo Santos with a Tamir 24th scale Porsche 911 GT2 road version. We have Stuart Avery with a Italieri 72nd scale Wessex HU5. And a Panzer II. Uh, we have Daryl e. Masters with a Bandai 144th scale Slave 1. Uh, Mr. Scott Shorey with a uh, base for his 48th MWB truck from Airfix. We have David Robinson with a main 35th scale US MC M1A1. We have Mr. James Mower with a Revell 1144th uh flower class corvette uh, we have mr peter ritchie with a one one hundred ashtray gundam or is that the sword for his ashtray gundam we have mr joe yellow with his pacific coast 30 second scale hurricane mark one early very pacific very pacific mr daniel <laughs> blair with his hella 40 1946 talbot lego in 24th scale we have Tristan Morgan with a 1144th Ravel Boeing 747-400. Miroslav with his Tamiya 24th scale Porsche Turbo RSR Type 934. Mr. Dan Croak with his Italia 24th scale Audi Quattro. We have Mr. Christova with his Tamiya 48th scale F14A Tomcat. Mr. Dave Hill with his two. 32nd scale sock with camels from 43rd squadron one minute down uh mr dave maddox with his 112th scale trumpeter gt40 uh we have ian christie with a cyber hobby js2m in 35th scale mr patrick kennedy with a 112th scale to me at catrum super 7 we have Enrico with his Tamir Alfa Romeo 155B6 Ti in 24 scale. We have Mr. Bapathwell with his Tamir 120th Lotus 79 uh, from 1978, which is confusing. Uh, John, put me down for Bab's Lotus. Mr. Matthew yeah. Strawn with his AMK 48 scale F14 D Super Tomcat. We have Mr. Kev Marshall with his Dragon 72nd CC King AW2. Mr. Michael Benjamin Mitchell on his uh, one ninth scale S Grenadier. Mark De Bruyne with his Maserati 250F in one twelfth scale from Model Factory Hero. Wolfgang Vith with a 24th scale Tamir Subaru 2001. Charles Stanhope with his Revell 32nd F15E. Dan Edmonds and... <coughs> How many more to do? Uh, Dan Edmonds uh, with his uh, Tamiya Ferrari Enzo in 24th scale. Mr. Ryan Cancino with his 25th scale Datsun 620 pickup. Uh, Mr. Alan Foster with his 35th scale Tamiya SAS Jeep. And Timothy Iverts with his 25th scale Ravel Foose Eldorado. That's one down, well done, mate. Can you put my uh, book in for BAPS uh, Lotus, please? Um, mine was a tough call between that and uh, the Buccaneer. Yeah. Where's the Buccaneers? I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go with Glenn's Buccaneer. I've seen that the other day and it caught my eye. It looked really cool. Yeah. So I'm going with Glenn's. And I've gone for Babs, Lotus 79 as well. Nice. I had five winners until Babs arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It is tricky. It's getting tougher and tougher. Really oh... <laughs> I like to pick my when I'm in the best place in the house. John, pick me down for John Stone's bait, please. Hang on, who said you could vote? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we will, what? No, we do Well, we will. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so this starts right. So, after my frantic scribbling, the results are in. In third place, we have Glenn Woodruff, Woodruff's Buccaneer. Nice. In second place, we have John Stone's Cat and Crad. Even nice, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And in fourth place is Bap Apple's Lotus F1. Gee, well done. Yes. <coughs> well done, Bap. Well well done. Done. Nice well build, man. Bap, if you send me your email address um, to ismprizegame at gmail.com, make sure you got a UMP account. I will get that sorted for you ASAP. Well done, mate. You were my second choice, but that Buccaneer caught my eye for the weekend. Yeah, Buccaneer got me earlier on when uh, I was... Yeah. Flicking through on uh, on the throne. No, it was booking there. Yeah. Okay. Dan's <laughs> office. Back in there. It's the best office in the world, Sam. Everybody's got one, and absolutely, mate. And everybody does the best thinking in there. Stinking. Well, Stinking. from fourth place to fifth place, there was one vote difference between each of them. Oh, wow! Wow! Oh, wow! Mad that in it. Crazy. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well done, Dan. Nice one, mate. I'm amazed you got through that. Yeah. You've been lagging in and out all night. I know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you got through it flawlessly. And then all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. Boom. Or, or is someone in the house yeah. has stopped screaming something. <laughs> hey, hey, Dad's going thingy. Switch yeah, on. Dad's got nuts. I think what we should do is when he switches from the forum to Fair Face, Facebook on the recap, we should stop it until he gets back active again. Yeah. Because you lose time there. Yeah. Hands and chat, yeah, well done. Nice one, yeah, well done. Both ears. Yeah, Gary Pashman, nice baps. Nice baps. <laughs> That's what Gary Pashman's put, not me. <laughs> nice, nice baps. <laughs> See you, Tony. Bye. Bye, right, Tony. <clears throat> bye bye. I think, I, I think Brad needs to rejoin the hangouts again. Yeah, yeah. Good. good dude, bro. Yeah, man, dude. Are you still um, sitting, Brad? Are you still sitting in back seat? Sorry, sorry. I still pressing. Sorry, I, 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 I still assist in the pilot. <laughs> you still pretending you're working? <laughs> yeah, <it's a> <laughs> oh, I want to say it's only there to hold the flask and the sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> And have you found out you shoot the guns from back there yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got the gun. He's found that out, has he? Dude, I totally <laughs> sit back and like wave at people. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I've got to say, Brad, Brad was the funniest person when he was bladdered ever. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I've bumped into a few funny people when they've been bad, but Brad were just the funniest. Didn't he yeah. come on wearing a sombrero? Yeah. 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 He definitely needs to uh, uh, come back into the hangouts again. Didn't he come up with off the back He's a professional backseat driver. I think it was a stormtrooper helmet he had. Yeah, a stormtrooper, that was it, yeah. Um, yeah, so DSB's saying, Must Jet, thanks again, everyone, for putting this together. Stay healthy and stay productive. You too. Stay there, mate. You too, mate. And about the same cheers, everyone. Ruth? No, credit where it's due. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say Second something, build, but, but it was a good model and it, it worked, yeah. Mm -hmm. And can I just say thank you to everyone for not leaving me with the casting vote this week? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it were it were a tricky tricky week this week again. Yeah, it was Tony's fault, mate. Yeah. yeah. So the, problem, yeah. the problem I have with that is, as you're going through the recap, Dan, I'm sat here staring at my screen, scribbling things down. So I don't necessarily remember all the models and the builds. <laughs> so I'm sitting here looking at the team going, "Oh, well, I've got the casting vote." <laughs> um, <laughs> which is which? which? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you say, the work's just getting better and better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
my, my short list is at least 10 every week. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. As I say, I had five winners before I saw Bob's car. Yeah. Yeah. And then two after it as well, mind you. But. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Ketchell saying thanks and good night. Uh, Kiwi Gav saying, well, I've got to go family trip from kitchen to the lounge today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Take a flask. Don't get the hydrated. We've all been there, about the map. Yeah. Map, yeah. And then Daniel Blair says, well, guys, I need to go and stand on my pool deck shirtless to net some more leafy debris out of my pool. Look out for harpoons. Yeah. <laughs> you know you can get a net that goes over it and catches all the leaves. It's a bit moody though. Hey, you yeah. Come on, now I'm that. She might say something to you. Yeah, all caught up on chatty. Ooh. One of these days I will get around to throwing some paint on something. <laughs> Tim. Hello. Do you know what we've been Can do. Can do. Good man. I've got I've got the can do attitude tonight. Oh. Mm. Oh. Scaring myself right. Does that mean you're not gonna, be gonna, gonna swear? Uh <laughs> not promising anything. <laughs> easy words. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna just like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got to say, Tim, that was so funny. The thing is, if anyone ever reacts like that, you never hear the end of it. No, oh, no. The, end of it. the worst thing you can do. <laughs> I, I have to do everything I did to stop laughing. <laughs> I was really made it worse. I was so. I know stuck. you were knocking me. Oh, I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. It, I, it, on the inside, <laughs> what it said, I want to have a little cry. It sounded, it sounded more like <laughs> on the inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right, okay, starting off with Adam Challenger. He got a couple, he got a real bright bargain here. Uh, 20 pounds for the 213 delivered. Good. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Good price, good kit. Nice. And then the uh, 20 pounds for the tactical ballistic missile spider. Good as well, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. I know oh. I've been through this. Oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm, let's, should we have a little look today to see what I've got coming up in my recommendations? Let's have a look. These are always good. Emmanuel and success comedy. Yeah. Why are you in prayer group? Hey. <laughs> bodybuilding and diet. Yeah, bodybuilding and diet. Manchester United news. Old oh, traffic. <coughs> Manchester United live fans. Yeah. Uh, all. Anyway, back on. <laughs> Manchester the other week. <laughs> yeah, you know, notice I went somewhere. Uh, and then he's also got the R33 Skyline GTR. I am really not oh. that car. Never liked that one. 30, it's a 32 or a 34 for me. That one's a bit... Yeah, I built that one. It's soft looking, isn't it, compared to the others? Yeah, it's it's I'm going to be big and tough, but I'm also going to wear a skirt. And it's just... As long as I put off the good and the uh, tough, I don't mind. Dan the man bought some uh, any cubic stuff. <coughs> Some 3D sense 3D sensitive printing stuff. Milwaukee. Resin stuff. Oh, cool. He got this bloke here, Mr. Caleb Beard. Uh he's got a S SU 76i self-propelled gun. Quite cool. Uh, also got a Xbox controller. I think those are some sort of earbuds. Oh, and a T34. <laughs> no. Very nice. He's also got a book on Rambo. <laughs> a couple of yeah. Halo. What's a game, you pillock, or a film? Oh, that one there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah it's Blu-ray, Blu isn't it? Blu-ray. Yeah. Um, oh, he's God, clean. God. He's a clean. You want to put that game away, though, like a dust on it. Oh, yeah. Look, don't want to get scratches on your discs. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you need to clean his finger now. No, I'm not yeah. you now. No. Uh, I can tell from your palm 
and that you are going to have a long life. Yeah, yeah, you need some more lighting, and on Thursday you're gonna trip over a drain cover. So be careful. <laughs> oh, you also got some paints. Yeah, and then <laughs> bottles are not good for weightlifting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, tell from the color of your hands you don't do manual labor. <laughs> Uh, Barry said he bought some stuff, but there's no photographic proof of that. <laughs> um, Tony Davy got hold of the Trumpeter's British 155 AS90 self powered howitzer. That's a big old lump of a gun, in that isn't it? Baby gun, yep. it's not a baby gun. Uh, and he bought a house corner and uh, the monotone masking fluids. Okay, cool. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't find any need for them, really. So I'm, I'm not, not yeah. sure. Oh, I've got that. Oh, we've got his UMP sticker on there. Nice. Well, that's nice advertising. Yeah. Oh, the way you got that from. Uh, Dan got hold of a camera that's been connected to this. Some of this. He's got some UMP sanders. Ooh. He's got a Ranger. Where? Down there. Oh, yeah. He's got a US touring bike. Ooh. One ape scale as well. Very nice. Uh, a set of uh, Pegasus wheels, some 09 mags, which are BRW profiles. Okay, nice. 20 inch rims. And some patrol car parts. I'll take that for his Ranger so he can be a, a, be a 5 0 in his uh, pickup. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Aye. Clint got uh, some stuff down here. <laughs> Loads of stuff. Uh, some nice. primers, some thinners, some primers, orange, red, silver. No, actually, titanium, silver, silver, primer, silver, silver, silver. Nice. Just find the middle. That doesn't say. Okay. Nice. Uh, Kale Ruck got hold of the uh, Bar Jar Bronco. Oh, Bar Jar. Bar Jar. Bar Jar. It's a place in India. Um, <laughs> in India? <laughs> Bar Jar, <isn't> it? <laughs> yeah. Not, not quite, Tim. Good right. Good. 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 Uh 69 Dodge ch uh, Charger Daytona two in one. I mean two cat sorry, two cat two cars in there, or you can do the two versions in it. You can do red or blue. Yeah. Oh red or blue car. More. Yeah, they race. Wonder which won the race. I think it's blue always won the race, isn't it? Yeah, because the red one always stopped its face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> confused everyone who hasn't heard that. Okay. Yeah, only only weird English people are going to know that one. Um, Revels P61 Black Widow, 148 scale. Cool. That's nice. Da, 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 da. Uh, the old Revel monogram B25 Mitchell. See, that's a J, that one. Because mm -hmm. uh, the, new, the new Revel one's a D. You do multiple versions of it? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll have to look later on. Shame if it is. Um, the Dodge special edition uh, Revels Dodge uh, Dart. Never formed on that car, a bit too square. Uh, and the Peterbilt model the, the, the conventional tractor, conventional tractor, <coughs> conventional, yeah, it's conventional. A uh, uh, 66 Shelby GC350, the Starsky and Hutch Ford Torino. Oh, and a Peterbilt wrecker. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Oh, I like the wrecker. Nice. Wrecker. Put that name on the box. Calm down, Dan. Crayon got hold of the R33 as well. The Tyrrell. Why isn't the Tyrrell at the front? The Tyrrell's brilliant. Yeah. Push this out of the way. You don't need this. Look at that. Uh, the Porsche Jägermeister. Uh, Deckle tray and some of those dinky little over expensive Tamiya. Pointy things. They're not over extensive. They're really handy. 
they, no, no, they are really handy. I do think they are cost. They're very expensive for what they are, but they are very, very. You, good. you can't get them that tightly wound anywhere. No, you can't. You so, can't. I'll, get, yeah. I'll give it to that. You can't. Yeah. They're ideal. See you, Dan. Uh, Ned Kelly got hold of the Opal Calibra. Oh, from nice. Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, then, I mean, then I've got a few bits. I managed to pick up a 132 uh, Mark II Fly Hurricane. Ooh. And it came with the bar- came with the barrels and then the mask set for all of the uh, the uh, camouflage over it, which is always handy. Nice. Uh, the Nismo R thirty four Z tune that me and Emily are gonna build, and it's gonna oh, a really odd color. Mm-hmm. That's nice. A uh, load of HGW belts for a load of the one uh, World War One kits I've got planned to try and build in the near future. Uh huh. Oh, Oi. <laughs> uh-huh. you print yours out of a bit of bath doesn't mean anyway um <laughs> you're cheating uh a lot of books of pulls so three books for the hurricane as i got a hurricane a boat <laughs> u-boat no, a book on the u-boats and a book about the se5 world war aces and then some of the ultimate order i've got the micro balloons lack of thinner and the large in holder with my sticker put on the front Hey. Good. And then lastly, oh. some uh, aviatic uh, lozenge decals for the wings. Lozenge. Sure. Oh, that's that's well, mate. That's a bit nice. Uh, and that's us all done. Superb. Well, well done, Tim. You got? Well done, man. Lots of nice stuff. Lots of nice stuff. Very nice. I like. I like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! And there we go. That was done, isn't it? Everything done? Yeah, Pretty much. much. It is. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are bailing in the chat as well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see that if I yeah, just under three hours. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh. It's done. Any more chat to catch up on, John? Or are we all done? Uh, no, we uh, generally we just got people that are saying goodbye and laughing at Tim's pronunciation of Baja. <laughs> but it is in India. Is India Baja? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear no, Tim. <laughs> it's what? Because that's Baji. That's a different thing entirely. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, you never know when Tim's been serious. Uh, oh, cross, cross, Tim, Tim being Tim, this could be just Tim. Yeah, I think he's a very professional troll. This Tim, I, I don't think he is. Could be, could be another Timism, or he could actually be more awake than we're giving him credit for. No, no. I don't know you. You lot being weird. We need a kangaroo. Yeah. Exactly. We need a kangaroo. Spell this C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a koala. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, Timothy, we do love you. Right then, since there's a lot of people are bailing in the chat, and um, we're all done, and I'm in agony of my back, I'm going to turn around and sit back then. Um, We'll call it a night, I think. Um, we're probably around tomorrow at some point in the morning, hopefully, for a live feed if you're about for a couple of hours. And maybe even tomorrow night yeah. as well. So if you're about, uh, come and join us. It's all completely a lot less formal than this, a lot more informal. Yeah. And uh, yeah, come and join us and have a laugh. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for all these guys tonight, all the hard work they put in. Um, thanks for you for all watching and commenting. Well done to the winners. Make sure you get your email address to me back as well. And we'll see you all tomorrow and next Friday as well. So take all care, right. everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.